After driving people around in a limo for many years, I had zero dollars in the bank. So I decided to turn my life around and move on to better things. This is my challenge to become a millionaire. Well, things are getting crazy around here. We almost sold out of every RV slash camper parking spot. And you know what that means? My weekly trip to go buy more golf carts. Oh, that's boss man. Our semi was gone, boss man. And because we got boss man's credit card, I ordered some better golf carts this time. They're straight off a golf course. They are used, but with them being used, you get a good deal. And these are nice premium club golf carts. That's that's the deal. Look at this. You can you can fit six. You could probably squeeze seven on there. Boss man, what the heck are you doing? I'm thinking it's time to get a pool on this land. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to say you're going to dig to China. Let's go tour this place. See how many spots we got left. We have one here. We have two left, but I think it's payday. All these people had, didn't come in here for free. Let's see how much money we made. So for the RV park, $50,000. I think it's time to start with this pool, man. Yeah, absolutely. Jump in that thing. You're the digging master. Oh, I'm getting a text. Concrete guys are pulling in. Okay, okay. Well, if they're on the way, then I need you to grab some wood pallets because we need to get lots of wood for around the oh. place to build a nice deck. All right, the wood's here, boss man. The concrete guys did a great job, it looks like. Let's get building. It's going to be like a walk around deck area. Yeah, we're going to actually make it pretty big, I'm thinking, because I want, you know, I, I want this thing to look classy. And there we go. The last nail hammered in. Boss man, what the heck? I was finishing this up and you went to go put on swim trunks? Yes, sir. Woohoo! Screw it. I'm all sweaty, dirty, grimy. I'm jumping in. Let's cool off here. Man, this is so nice. It's a little chilly because we used the garden hose to fill it and it's ice cold, but it should warm up a little bit. Oh, boss man, I forgot to tell you. In about 30 minutes, somebody's coming here to take a tour for the red mobile home. Oh, you found someone? Yeah, they called last night and then they texted this morning and we scheduled an appointment and everything. They're going to be here any minute and I, they're super interested. It's a couple older, like 60, 65. They're retired and stuff and they want to live at the bottom of the mountains and we I kind of showed them it online, but they they're coming okay and then uh how long are they thinking to stay did they say anything about that or they would want to do a five-year minimum maybe a 10 and so we'll work those numbers out there he is he's coming in hey good afternoon david yep just pull right in there that is a sharp car that looks great i had a buddy who used to have a chevy and paul like this but baby blue well david nice to meet you welcome yep this is the rv park yeah so if you were to buy this you would be pulling through those gates every day we might create more we're always adding to it and stuff it's only been for sale for a couple days now so you're the first one to come see it yep go ahead check it out walk around this is the porch here and one thing i didn't mention is if you purchase it we will give you a free golf cart plenty of windows we already did some landscaping we can add more for you ac unit yeah the nice part a bunch of windows and the best part man look around us we're surrounded by mountains so you are in the perfect location my friend you'll take it without even going inside all right perfect shake on it i got the papers right here ah uh, set it on your hood well guys that's awesome we sold a mobile home which is a big boost in the bank account for me 200 grand for all of us boss man what are you doing well i'm taking this lawnmower in it needs repairs man all right sounds good how did you get it up on your flatbed don't ask questions just it, it was a struggle but i actually have a pretty far drive so i need to get going hopefully the rain quits here soon i'm gonna go to dunkin donuts see how jeremiah's doing how the business is doing grab something to eat there and then we're picking up another mobile home so we gotta write a check for that later once we pick it up oh no what the what the heck pull off the road that sounded terrible oh my truck just shut off let me get out and open the hood here Jeez louise this is the only downside about having a lifted truck is you gotta like jump up in here oh my goodness i don't see anything obvious but i was just driving there and a terrible noise like sound like somebody just threw a wrench into my engine and then the thing shut off a few seconds after i totally lost all power all right big cat this is the deal we got to get her probably on your flatbed i got it in neutral so super simple dang this truck is pretty slick that bed is gonna is is really handy and you got a winch up there all right go ahead release your winch and i'll go ahead and get it hooked up here all right perfect big cat you're hooked up start start her up get winching all right fantastic Oh my goodness, you oh. have a heavy truck. Yeah, it, it's really heavy. I'll jump in and steer it. I should uh, still have some power steering. 
There we go. Looking good. This probably isn't the best. Yeah, going fast winch it. This probably isn't the smartest. We're winching across the middle of the road. Oh, gosh. All right, we got it all strapped down. Let's head back. Sounds good. Just hop in. Well, man, thanks for picking me up. And hopefully you get it. Hopefully it's not a big deal and you can just fix it in a couple hours. But who knows? If it's awesome on that lift. And I, w I was using my truck. I was going to go pick up a mobile home. So then we can get another one built and stuff like that. I was just gonna drive it down to the RV park. Do you got do you got any other cars like I could borrow? I actually do. I have one that I just fixed up, the one right over here. Okay. Hopefully it'll work for you. Is this oh a Colorado? Ooh, I don't know. You think it could tell one of those huge mobile homes? Maybe. I think there's only one way to find it. I think you're just gonna have to try. All right. I like your optimism. Let me know how the truck is like coming together and everything and just let me know what the bill is gonna be, man. I'm not too excited about it. I'll talk to you later. Okay. See you. Well, thank goodness the rain is out of here and the sun actually came out right away. Super nice. We're just getting here and it looks like the place is, looks like the place is pretty muddy. Jeez, I, I, I talked to the guy who owned these, who owns this lot and he didn't mention anything about this getting really soft when it rains hard. Oh, that looks muddy. Uh, okay, let me back up a little bit, get some speed. Now if the truck gets stuck, there's no way we're getting the trailer, but if the truck's good, we might as well try it. Oh, this lot, it just holds water. It's like a soupy mess. Oh my goodness, it's muddy. Holy biscuits. Here we go, here we go. Floor it. Come on, old Chevy Colorado. This thing isn't even like lifted. Oh goodness. All right, here we go. Plowing through. Thank goodness it's kind of light. It doesn't sink in a crazy amount, but sometimes you want weight too. Come on, come on. And I think we're grabbing the green one. Let's reverse into it. Oh goodness, I almost got stuck, but we're, we're doing it. This little truck can do it. All right, we're all hooked up. This trailer is absolutely humongous. I don't even know if my dually could be doing this right now in the mud. Let's see if it pulls through. Maybe I'll reverse, get get some steam, get some speed going. All right, let's get a run and start. Three, two, one. Oh, this thing's weak. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, we're going, we're going. Oh no, turn, turn, turn. Come on, come on, I'm trying to squirm. It doesn't like to go straight. I gotta keep turning here. Come on, we're done, boys. We are done. I'm trying to reverse out of here. Come on, we're moving up like an inch, but oh, there we go. We got a little hard ground and now we're in the soft stuff again. Dang it. Well, we're in four wheel drive and all four wheels are spinning. Oh, my shoes. I'm wearing my tennis shoes. They're full of mud. Hey, Steve, this is Spencer. I got, I got the truck stuck. The parking lot is just a sinking hole. What do you mean? It's been like 10 minutes since I saw you. Well, it rained for the past day and then this thing has barely any gravel on this lot and it turned into a soupy mess. You know what? Fair enough. I, so you need me to just tow you again? Well, I'm hooked up to a huge the mobile home trailer now, which might make things a little interesting. But yeah, go ahead, come down, bring the biggest tow truck you got. All right, I'll be on my way in a few minutes. All right, Steve, be careful. It's a muddy mess out here. Don't worry, this truck is huge. I don't think it'll get stuck. Huge? The bigger they are, the harder they fall. Dude, you're gonna get stuck. Come on, oh, okay, you're moving pretty. Oh no, oh. Steve, you're almost bottoming out. This stuff's pretty deep. No, we're, we're fine, see? All right, well, what are you kind of thinking? All this is, is pretty wet, soft stuff. What I mean, what's your plan, Towmaster? I don't know. Well, I'm just going to try loading the truck up and just see where we go from there. All if right. it works, it works. Oh, 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 I didn't even think of that. Yeah, okay. So you're thinking to actually get my truck up on there, winch it up, and then are you going to disconnect from the trailer? Maybe. Well, I'm be the nice. tow master. I could do what I want. Okay. All right. Fair enough. All right. Go ahead and start winching. Let's see if you can get this thing out of the mud. Are you winching? Uh, I'm trying. It's not doing really doing anything. Oh, oh, the winch out. Oh, that sounds horrible. Okay. Uh, stop winching. That's not going to work. It might have almost snapped the cable. Okay. Let's see. You have tension on there. Go ahead. Just drive forward. Oh, no. Spencer. This isn't good. Hey, stop. You're digging a hole. You're sinking even more. Yeah, this isn't good, Steve. Uh, try and reverse. Maybe. Oh, a little bit. No. Oh, okay. Go forward. Rock it forward. Oh, okay, you're digging a hole and you sunk down. You're about to bottom out. That's not good. What are we gonna do? You're the tow master. What are you thinking? The, the the mud's up to your rims, dude. This isn't good. Yeah, I wasn't exactly expecting this to happen. Well, Steve, we're we're gonna need somebody else to come help us. What what if I call Boss Man? He he's he's been gone all morning, but it's been a few hours now. Well, I think he'll know what to do. Well, there he is, Steve. Uh, boss man, don't get stuck yourself. You really outdid yourself here. You got the trailer, a brand new mobile home, not to mention. And have you even paid for this thing yet? I have not paid. You know what? I have not. No. Okay, well, maybe you should pay for it since you've already 
cause some damage to the trailer it's on. There we go. Go, go, go. Push. All right. You got it. You got it. He's good. He's good, boss man. Okay. Oh, fantastic. Go, go, go. Okay, thanks. Here we go. Bump. Okay. Watch out, watch out, watch out. Keep going, keep going. Come I'll on. start pushing from behind. Come on. Oh, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I'm stuck. Go, go, go. Don't You're worry. pushing. Here we go. Here's some dry land, kind of. Not really. Little entrance. We're popping wheelies out here, man. I can't steer. Go. Push, push, push. Here we are. The old Chevy Colorado that could. There we go. All right. Bring that thing down there. Don't get it stuck again. Yeah, I was actually wondering. Our fields are probably swamped. It rained so much. Are you, you know what? Are you yeah. even able to handle that? Or should no, we no, no. I'm detaching. You hook up to it and you pull it. Okay. How's she pulling? She's pulling fine. Don't hit this me. This truck can handle it. Well, don't be in my way. Why did you just stop in front of me? No, I was on the other in the other lane. What if you have on oncoming traffic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Very helpful. I'm thinking after we drop this thing off, maybe we uh, rip in our other fields. We have nothing planted there right now, so no harm in it. Yeah, you want to do some mudding? Is that what you're saying? That's exactly what I'm saying. Yeah, our, our fields are pretty muddy, boss man. I'm flinging a lot of mud up. I have an issue. Yeah. Oh, jeez. How would you do that? Well, I've got the lawnmower is back there. Uh, Might need to bring it back to the shop. Steve just came here with his Malibu. I said we're going mudding. Come on. There you go. Perfect. Thank you, man. Who's out there honking? Man, I just Hello, woke up. Come Spencer. on. Hello, Spencer. It's early. I'm glad it's, you're early. Awake. it's too early for this. Did you, did you at least bring me some Dunkin' Dunkin' Donuts coffee? No. Well, what's the plan? I gotta go pick up my truck anyway. Okay. Well, here you go get your truck, but we gotta do some work. I want to extend the golf cart path. Ten four. I'll I'll be back in a little bit. Give me a second here. Jeez, the bill is fifteen hundred bucks. Steve's getting expensive. I guess he's got to pay for this place somehow. Samantha, did you guys just get these new trucks in here? This looks awesome. You're starting to fill up the showroom. They got a Ford Raptor in here. I don't even know what this truck is. It's a 6x6. Six six. That looks quite expensive. They got an old school Dodge in here. This is awesome. And it looks like they got a new, what is this, the Ram Rebels? I've never been up close to one before. I've seen it on TV. Oh, this one's like a race version. That's crazy. Steve said the drive shaft broke off or something. The yoke? I don't know. Super weird. He said he hasn't seen something like this. This is a fairly low mile truck. Look at Boss Man tearing it up. What, what are you doing, man? Well, I realized if you look at our trail, why did we end it here? We ended it here, let me think, because we didn't want to run into the lion statues, I guess. Yeah, but here's the reality, okay? Like, if someone's a, you know, reasonable driver, and they yep. know how to at least operate a small golf cart, they can easily avoid that and make it on the path here instead of ripping up the grass. Totally makes sense. Yeah. Good, good. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Go ahead and knock that out. And hey, when I was down at Steve's, they got the, sh the showroom starting to fill up a bit. They got some trucks. The showroom? Oh, he, he started to finally sell them? Yeah, he's starting to sell some trucks. And it, what's cool is they're like custom trucks. They aren't brand new trucks. Like they're trade-ins. And he buys them on, at auctions and stuff. So some pretty unique trucks in there. I know you were mentioning... Yeah, I'd, I'd be down to go check out what's there. After you, my lady. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. Hey, wow. Hey, Samantha, we're already back. We're doing some truck shopping for Boss Man here, so we might be asking you a few questions. Ooh, this thing's nice. It has extra two tires in the back. Yeah, Boss Man, that's not for tire changes. I think it's more for, for weight and hitting jumps. It has a roll bar. This thing's for, like, racing. Wait, you're saying that these tires you can't just pop on and you're good to go? Well, you can... And it's, it's, it's for like, uh, I'm pretty sure it's for weight. So when you hit a jump, there's weight in the back. And so you don't nosedive, if that makes sense. That does make sense. Because the engine, okay. the engine weighs the most. But yeah, that's a, I think it's a Ram 1500, Ram Rebel. They're crazy fast. What the heck is this thing? Oh, uh, I think it's power, power Ram. Yeah, old style. I'm guessing from the 90s. But right now, it looks like they got a Ford Raptor over here. Now we're talking. I like my Ford Raptors. Pop open these doors. The only thing is it's not a it's not a four door, but this would like make sense. You wouldn't want a four door if you're going off roading. Man, I like the looks of this thing. Well, go uh talk to Samantha, see see what prices are. Are you thinking the raptor? Yeah, I I just keep coming back to this. Hop inside when I'm talking to her. Let, let me know your thoughts when I'm back. Yeah, this is pretty pretty slick, and it's got the middle console, so you you can squeeze five people in here, but that's really nice. These middle consoles, boss man, you could like they're like a safe. It's so deep in there. Yeah, and she just told me this is going for ninety five thousand. What? What year is it? She says it's a twenty twenty one. Okay, twenty twenty one. In let's see how many miles. Let's start her up. Keys are in it. Yeah, it's only got 20,000 miles. Whoa, man, we've got to open some windows if you're starting vehicles the up huge in here. Door, the doors are open. She's fine. She knows us. Okay, okay. Oh, man. 90 grand. Are you going to do it? I think I am. 95. 
I'll, I'll oh, talk no, it down. I'll talk it. Okay, down. yeah. See what you can do. See what you can do. I'll text Steve. He's he's out of work today, but I'll let him know we're buying one of his trucks. All right, man. It's mine. Nice. Okay, that didn't take too long. I, yeah, you're right. It does have a winch. A lot of some aftermarket stuff, but congrats, man. Congrats. Thank you. I think we need to go test this thing out. That's what I was saying. Shut those doors, and I'll I'll meet you out front. Pull her out here. Okay. All right, man. Hurry up. You don't want to suffocate her with the exhaust in here. Calm down. She's fine. Uh, uh, yeah, she is. I'm just making fun of you. There you go. Looks good, man. All black. I think that's a clean look. Yeah, I am a fan. I, I might get the color changed a bit down the road. You know, do do a little bit of work to it. But Looks like the headlights, the on lights are red and then it matches the seats. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, I didn't even notice that. Yeah, me neither. Hey, boss man, can your truck do this? Raise up, okay. raise down, raise up raise down i don't need any lift because mine actually has a good design so it's not going to bottom out on rocks okay we'll see about that i think i got better clearance than you but yeah we'll see boss man you said to turn right are you sure this is the right turn yeah man this is what i was hoping for look at these rocks yeah well are you up for the challenge uh i'm already oh, bottoming clearly out. not wow look at that i have a winch man i have no issues here all right you figure out your way i'll figure out mine see you on the other side this bank is pretty steep, that's for sure. I'm thinking find a shallow spot and just floor it through it. Man, I'm using my winch. Here we go. Come on. Oh, and just take it on some water. Reverse, reverse, reverse. All right, I made it out. Bossman's using his winch. All right, I got to take a different shot at it. Here we go. Up and over. Look at that, boss man. All right, check me out. Oh, Holy geez. biscuits. Oh, Don't geez. go over, this man. Is, this is why I have the winch. Okay. Yeah, there you so go. I just need to tighten it up. There's quite a bit of slack in it, but yeah. Keep, keep winching. You got it. All right, boss man. It's getting tight. Here we go. You just got Should it on the random start? tree. Oh, okay. Jeez. We're good. We're good. We're good. Dude, just, that thing's a beast. It's a Ford Raptor. This is a worn winch. This thing has no problem at all. I Dude, that was easy. You're going to have some scratches on your paint. That's for sure. Well, that's okay. I can always get a new paint job. All right. How do you detach this thing here? There you go. Thank all right. you. Keep moving. It's You got a steep little climb there. Oh, dude, I can handle it no problem. Watch out for I'm the bushes. I'm not as scared as you are. Here we go. Boss man spends 90. Actually, how much did you end up buying it for? Did you talk her down or did she talk you up? Okay, so it was a 92,000. Okay, you talked her down three grand. Good deal. But you just spent 92 grand and you're already 90 out here. Nut with taxes. Oh, okay. I got her down more than that. Pretty good deal. Pretty good deal. Okay, uh, so where are we going now? You told us to go off a cliff and now... Well, we just need to find more trails. Well, boss man, I made it up this hill climb. Where are you at? I don't see you. I'm making it up. Oh, I think you're to the side a bit. Yeah, Here, I'm trying to second. find you. I can hear that little engine purr. We made it to this ridge line to climb the whole mountain. Boss man should be making it up. I, there he is. Here I come. Nice. Come on. You got it. I need, need it. There we go. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Jeez, it's really hot in the RV right now. Is the generator not on? Oh my goodness, it's so hot in there. Let me step out. Yeah, I don't hear the generator running. Dang it, yeah, the generator, and it's it has plenty of fuel in it. It must have shut off. There must have been some issue. Here, sometimes sometimes what I do is I start the RV, and then the batteries from the RV help start the generator. Come on, I'm trying to start it. It's not starting. Dang it, what is wrong? Uh, Spencer? Yeah, man, what's, you, what's up? You might want to come see this. Garrett is uh, stuck in the light pole. Boss, man, how did you get up there, and how are you stuck? Well, I climbed... And I'm scared of heights. You climbing? You scared? How are you even holding on, man? That's crazy. All right, Steve, lock arms. We gotta catch you. Do not land on the bench. That would be a good back crack, though. What you're gonna do, boss man, is you're gonna fall down, and our strong arms are gonna catch you. But you guys are weak. Come on, three, two, Here one, go. go. Gotcha. Look at that. Good work, Steve. All right, let him down. Oh, I love the ground. That was perfect. It's nice to be back down are here. Are you hurt? Are you afraid? Oh, little boss man. Okay, okay. What's up with your Here's RV? Yeah, it's not starting, and Steve, I need you to look at it. Generator's busted. Engine's busted. I might need it towed out of here. Wait, your generator and your engine are both not working? Yeah, in the RV, it's like 100 degrees right now. Generator has been running for a couple hours, and I can't start it back up. Spencer, why are you breaking my RV? I don't know. I can't do anything about it. Steve, any ideas? Honestly, no, but I can tow it if you need. Okay, yeah, let's go ahead and tow wait, it. Wait, wait, tow it? Yeah. What, what, you, your trucks can tow this thing. Oh, yeah. I bought a new one. You bought a new truck? Yeah. When? Like, a couple days ago. I don't know. Well, it's a little later in the day. Boss Min and I absolutely went to town and put up all these lights. All right, Steve, this is your first time doing this? With this truck, yes. But it's okay, because everything's a learning experience. Did you watch a couple of YouTube videos to figure it out? That's usually what I do. Yeah. 
Back her up, big dad. Let's see her. There you go. Would you say that? Just get to that at front axle and we're good? I think you're good. Go ahead, raise up. But yep, you're on it. Oh, yeah. For sure. All right, raise up. And then, okay. Oh, uh, that's actually uh. perfect. No, he's good. He's good. He's good. All right. He's got it attached, Steve. That's awesome. Well, boss man, if that's where I sleep and it's going away. Oh, okay. He's making the turn. Where am I sleeping tonight? That's a good question. Uh, you're not going to be staying at my house because I only got one bed. So you could sleep at the farm. Yeah. What if I sleep in here? This isn't too bad. Just put a sleep bag on the ground. Yeah, if you want. All right, man. Good night. Good work. I'll see you tomorrow. Yep. Sleep well. See you. Oh, tw well, 25 missed calls, 16 missed text messages. What the heck is going on? Oh, there's a cop car out there. A cop truck. He's got his all his lights on and stuff. Let's... Turn on the lights, what the heck? My phone must have been going off all last night and I actually slept really good. I had a nice little sleep bag in the corner there, it was kind of fun. What in tarnation is going on out here? Say hey Spencer. Yeah, dude, what the heck? Yeah, uh, we got broken into last night and they caused a lot of damage. Okay, show me, show me what happened. Uh, what did they do? Did they hurt somebody? Uh, so no one got injured to our knowledge. Okay. We're still trying to figure out everything. Obviously, there's so many people here. Yeah. I think the person got scared off by all of the people we have around because they were all waking up from all the commotion. But Ooh. I'm surprised you didn't even wake up. No, well, yeah, I'm way over there and looks like this. Okay, this is the bad guy's car? Yes, this is the bad guy's car. He came in, obviously, you can see, smashed our bench a little yeah. bit. And then uh, our own golf cart that you and me usually drive around that we have in the parking spot. Yeah, it was parked over here. Uh, yeah, that, that's gone. So here, ch check the footage with me. Okay, yeah, yeah. Oh, yes, we got super nice security cameras installed like a month ago. So the car drives in, just the gate was left open. Yeah, goes right for that bench. Jeez. Doesn't hesitate at all. Smoked it. They got to the golf cart in the parking lot. And the keys were probably just in that, like always. And they made their way down and they started doing donuts and not the good kind that sold at our Duncan. And well, yep, that's them in the pool. There's a semi truck, and there he goes. All right, man, I'm thinking, let's blow this popsicle stand. We used to be cops back in the day. We can catch them. We were cops. We were pretty good cops. Well, I was a pretty good cop. You lost a few seconds. You know what this calls for? Initiate what? Operation Tadpole. Okay. All right, big cat. We know he headed west, right? Yes, sir. He headed west, and from there, I have no clue. How many hours ago was that? This just happened around an hour ago. Man, we've been driving forever. Yeah, what are you thinking? Oh, there's a car up here on the left. Maybe this is something. Okay, wait, stop, stop. let's talk yeah. to them. I'll See pull over. There. You go talk to him. Oh, yeah, there's a guy. Okay, one sec. What do you say? Oh, gee. Okay, okay, he just saw someone in a semi about 10 minutes ago pass by. He's having car problems, so... Sorry, we're yeah, gonna help you. you. Okay, okay, keep going, keep going. We're, if we're only like 10 minutes behind, like, that's pretty good. So 10 minutes ago, he said he saw a semi. Our semi. Yeah, he's like around 10 minutes. You okay, know, he wasn't okay, paying okay. that close of attention. Interesting. Uh, in like you quizzed him on the semi and he said it kind of looked like ours. He said it was an American brand, like okay. everything American decal. Oh, hold up, hold up, hold up. What's this? Slow down, slow down, slow down, man. Slow down. I'm slowing down. Is that our semi? That's our semi. Okay, okay. Let's go, let's go, let's go. What do you want to do? Get in front of is he in there? I see um, a head. He's in there. Uh, go, 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 go. Freeze, they're back. Freeze. Get out oh, of my going, semi. He's going. That's the guy. That's the guy. Jump in the car, jump in the okay, car. Hop in, hop in, hop oh, in. Oh, okay. I lost him. Go, 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 go. Alright, turn and burn, Don't big cat. Let him escape. Let's go, let's go. No way we just found him. There's no way this just happened. The only bad oh, thing about making... the tadpole, man, it doesn't have too yeah. much giddy up and go. Now the good news is our semi also doesn't, but obviously it's still pretty powerful oh geez okay yeah hope we don't bottom out or something okay cross the bridge yep this is all on you man if we lose him it's your fault come on big cat hang a left hang a left hang he turned hang a left okay here we go what did that sign say uh i don't know I thought it said something about steep something something yeah it was one of those warning signs of some sort of thing okay this guy's a pretty good driver to be him? navigating a semi through these trails there he is oh what is he doing I have no clue. We got him. Take it a oh shortcut. Geez, oh, geez. Some big rocks. Okay. We're don't, on him. Don't damage it. Damage man, what? it's still our semi. It's still our semi. Don't hit I, it. We got insurance, man. This is fun. This is all for fun. I'm just trying to catch this guy. This is not fun in my Hey, eyes. did you text the cops? Did you call him? Did I text the cops? Pull over, uh, bud. Oh, Scoop. how do I text the cops? Who, who text do you want 911. Say, yo, we're on him. It says message not delivered. Call us instead. Okay, I'm on him. I'm on him. All right, what do okay, we do? Uh, I can't pit uh, maneuver no this thing. Uh, Take it no, a shortcut. No, we, go through the okay, window. Okay. Come on. 
Oh jeez, man, I'm trying to I'm trying to call oh, here. Oh, off the cliff. Hang on, Tadpole. Okay, what's up ahead? Do you have a GPS or something? You know, I I used to go down this path. I think there's a lake down here. There's a lake, okay. And I I think there's like a parking lot. Like a dead lot. end lake or I think so, kind of. Okay, let's see, let's I see. I mean, you can make your own roads. That's yep. a lake. That's a lake. Here we go. Here we go. Where's he going to go? Okay, what's the plan? What do you want to do, boss man? Okay. Well, chase him. All right. Here we go. There's an elk. Jump out, boss Hop man. Jump out. Men. I'll keep okay, driving. Okay. I'm swimming. Go, 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 go. I'll sit back here and watch you. Go. No, come with me, man. I think this is a little island. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Oh, yeah. The river wraps around it. There's a lake. We got him surrounded. Come on. Oh, he already crossed. He's quick. Holy Jack B. Skip. He's faster than lightning. Wait, there's rocks here. Jump, jump, jump. All right, got it. Save come time. On. Yep. Here we go. Keep coming, keep coming. All right, I'm going to turn on the afterburners. Here I go. See you later. Come on, boss man. You're too slow. We got him. Man, I'm trying. These shoes are not made for running. We're going to catch him. He's in a full tracksuit with a helmet on. We'll get him. Tackle him. Tackle him. I got him. Oh, got him. Okay. Get down. Stay get down, down on the ground. Stay down. Awesome, man. Give him the old 1-2 McGregor. 3-4 Mayweather. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. All right, dirtbag. This is your ride. You're getting in here. Get to the slammer, buddy. Right in here. Back seat. All right, man. Thanks for picking him up. We caught him. Yeah, it wasn't too bad. Little, little overrun. So he's, he's, he'll be a little tired. That's for sure. Thanks, man. Have a good one. Good morning, boss man. What are you selling? Uh, donuts. Sprinkles on them. Can I get a couple? Let's get one. One chocolate with no. birthday cake whoa, whoa, sprinkles. Whoa. Okay, okay. Just one though. There you go. These are for paying customers, man. I'll pay. Here's two bucks. Oh, thank you. Yeah, yeah. Perfect. What's in your schedule today? Anything going on? Well, Steve texted me last night that he has a truck I need to look at, he said. He's like, there's a truck for you. Come look at it, and I'll come at the end of the day when he's not busy. So that's about it. Anyways, we are going to be actually working by the restaurant. If you want to drive the skid steer down there, that'd be great. 10-4. Speaking of skid steer, boss man, I know you're talking about creating like a dirt bike track, like OHV park. You still want to do that? Oh, that is in the plans. Here, we'll, we'll take a look at the land in a bit. Okay. But yeah, r remind me about that a bit later. 10 4. I was going to say, I have nothing going on tomorrow, but yeah, we'll go look at it. Okay, okay. For now, though, let's figure out this area right here, right? Yep. Like when someone comes to the restaurant, if they have a golf cart rental, where are they supposed to put the golf cart? Yeah, when we've been open a couple busy nights, the golf carts just pile up right here, block the roadway. That needs to stop. So I was thinking, what if we get like a little, you know, nothing, nothing too crazy, but a bit of a parking lot made here just for the golf carts to just, you know, be maybe not on dirt, just tearing up, becoming all mud and getting stuck everywhere. Yeah, absolutely. For those rainy days, just throw a little gravel down. Should be good. Yeah. So what do you think? Should we do this side or the other side? We'll do this side. That way it's a bit closer. Okay, so yeah, start tearing up the ground and it should be good. And the skid steer's working pretty good. The ground's a little rough. There we go. Scraper back. Looks good. Keep coming. A little uneven, but we're getting it. There we go. All right, not too bad. Oh, Seems I'm, like you've been getting some practice in that thing. I've been watching you do it a lot, so I've been figuring it out and stuff, so I'm getting a bit better. Okay, and yeah, get close to the water, but, you know, obviously we don't want any kind of concerns about people getting, you know, like submerged in it. Absolutely. Yeah, we could do like a little barrier or something too. Yeah, exactly. Late night, somebody actually hits the gas instead of the brake. That would not be good. No, not at all. But that's why they give us their deposits when they rent those, just in case they break it. That's right. We got insurance and stuff, but I think that's probably good. You can at least, I mean, golf carts aren't very long, so we could fit at least like eight, ten golf carts there. Yeah, so I guess now we'll just get some gravel laid and should be good. 10-4. All right, good work, boss man. I'm going to need you to scrub those tire tracks off. I, I kind of messed it up with the skid steer. All right, boss man, you got the keys to your truck? I'm taking her. You're going to take it to get the tree pallets? Yes, sir. Okay. Feel free to just don't break it. Don't don't scratch up my paint or anything like that. Mean machine. This thing's a beast, boss man. Wait, what's my truck's name? Uh, I don't know. Velociraptor? What should we name Boss Man's new truck? Let us know in the comments below. I'm interested to see your guys' ideas. Well, we're driving by Steve's place, and they're cool. they're pretty busy in there. I don't want to stop by. I didn't I didn't see any new truck in the showroom. I'm wondering what he's talking about. Here are the pallets of trees. Jeez, Boss Man's exhaust. It sounds so good. This probably isn't the best truck to be using for this, but I just wanted to take it out for a rip. And these trees cost me 500 bucks. I actually thought that's a pretty good deal. It was left over from last year, and some of them don't look the best. But anyway, some of them will survive. Hopefully Boss Man doesn't mind a little wood on his roof. All right, we'll get him strapped down and head up and out of here. 
Hey, boss man, I guess your truck could be a work truck. Let's start getting this land looking good. I'm thinking we get some really nice grass planted. Obviously, we have like this really short stuff right now, but yep. it's, you know, it's got some clover pretty... in it, some weeds. We can clean it up a bit and then plant those trees. I think have some shade for our customers. All right, so let's, I guess, start going around the entire park and getting that done. 10 4. Boss man, I gotta run. Steve is closing soon. I gotta go check out that truck. You wanna come with? Man, I am going to go and lay down in the RV. I'm so tired. All right, let's see what the heck where this truck is, because I never saw it in the showroom. I'll talk with Samantha. See, see what Steve is talking about. She said it's in the back here. Oh, an RV's on the... Oh, yeah, our RV is still getting serviced. Wait, if our RV is getting serviced, where is boss man sleeping? But this must be it right here. This is probably what he was talking about. He said it was red. And it looks like the paint job just got done. That's probably why it's in the paint booth here. This is awesome. This is a pretty big truck, though. Looks like a Chevy 5500, like a Kodiak or something. All right, this thing is pretty crazy. It would be really nice to have that enclosed back end because it seems like a lot of times we're moving around tools. We're building things all the time. And that way I can just throw all my tools in here. They're safe, they're locked, and they're dry. That is huge. Let's see, what does this button do? Oh my goodness, it raises up and down. So, I mean, my truck has that feature right now too, but this is pretty awesome. Super nice interior leather. Center console is clean. It even has a CB radio in here. How many miles? It's only got 50,000 miles. That's, that's like nothing. I'm going to see if I honestly, I might trade this in. Steve knew me right along. He knew I'd want this thing. Well, there we go. We traded in the GMC 3500. This thing was great. It was a Denali, super nice interior, flatbed, all that stuff. But after seeing this, I think this is a bit better. It's awesome. Cool. I did have to pay another 10 grand to trade up to it just because there was so much aftermarket stuff. And this bed here, these are not cheap. I totally forgot to show you guys. There's acetylene oxygen tanks in there. And then there's a mobile welder as well. So this is pretty slick. Comment below what we should name the truck. Let me know. One of the names I have always when something red like this is Clifford. But comment below. Let's see what you guys say. All right, we got to go inside. Hit the control switch to open the gate up. B Boss man, are you okay? What are you doing? Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Hey, What's up? Get up, dude. Get up. Are you, what were you... Dude, you, you freaked me out. I thought you fell down, hit your head or something. No, man. I realize the RV's not here because it's still in the shop and Steve's taking forever to fix it. Yeah. So I was like, well, I need to lay down somewhere and I'm not going to go in a stranger's RV. I just chose in here. Yeah, you got your beauty sleep then? Took a little nap from all our hard yeah, work? Yeah, it, it looks like this was worth the wake up. What is this thing? This is my new truck. Traded it in. I had to pay an extra 10 grand for it, uh, but... You know, this thing's pretty crazy. The bed alone is worth a, a bunch. Oh, is this one of those beds that, like, obviously takes a bit of time, but you could, like, switch it out even? Yeah, yeah. I mean, you could unbowl it and do different things and stuff. Yeah, but I think I'll leave it on there. We'll see. Yeah, I like it. Lots of storage, that's for sure. All right, Spencer, are you you still you still got a bit of energy in you? Can I do. you do me a favor? I'm going to go tour the park real quick, though, but go ahead. Okay, we'll tour the park, but after that, I do have one request and that is someone's looking to buy one of our tractors okay do you mind delivering it from me and then obviously you know like i bought it so i'll begin most of the money but i'll give you you know a nice reward for yeah. for doing the favor yeah absolutely go ahead i'm gonna tour the place why don't you jump in our semi hook up to the low boy and meet me over by the equipment okay sounds good i'll show you guys the tour of what we all did we got a bunch of sod laid in here. It looks really good. A lot more like friendly and people can have a picnic in the grass. Stuff like, you know, stuff like that. We put some trees in. So the place just feels more alive because before we had gravel there, you know, it just gets dusty, dirty. But when you got trees, you got a little more headache and stuff. So some tall RVs might rub on some branches. That looks pretty good right there. But that took us a lot of work. And remember, tomorrow, it sounds like Boss Man, we're going to be building like a dirt bike OHV park over here which is going to be awesome for everybody that brings in their toys with their rvs and stuff so stay tuned for tomorrow as well but we got a haul we got to do a pretty heavy haul so what are you selling man what, what piece of equipment well they decided to buy this tractor right here i know it was great but yep. yeah they eat our ex she's gonna be gone okay and i'm guessing they aren't taking that plan well you just leased that planner didn't you no, I, I bought it. Okay. Are they taking the planter I bought with everything it? here. They're just buying the tractor, right? Just the tractor? Just the tractor. I'm honestly kind of hoping we're going to get more sold in the future because, you know, we aren't really using it. And 
once you rip into that create the mud park then yep. there's you know it's really no purpose for any of this all right i'm heading out text me okay, that address and, okay wait, wait before you go i'll yep. give you some money now oh that'd assuming be assuming you're gonna finish the job oh, yes i'll finish the job all right wh what do you think you deserve for doing this delivery we'll hire it the address it's an hour away from here so i charge 200 an hour you know heavy hauling let's do an even 600. you know what here's a thousand oh Jeez, thanks, I'm boss feeling man. generous today. I just want to see what number you'd say. I just got dropped off by boss man at to Steve's place, and we're picking up the RV. He finally fixed it all up. Looks good. No dirty mechanic fingerprints all over it. Sometimes they do that. Looks like he's got his hand full. A lot of broken down cars in here. He's Oh, jeez, that Hummer got smashed. Well, she better start, because we're going to be working on getting that mud park built today. There we go. That sounds nice. What's nice now, we got a pole around. Let's get the slides out, and I think we'll be ready to live in it. Boss man, boss man, what is the plan? Well, we're going to be building the best off-road park that this town has to offer. So this entire field, I want to get it switched up, and I want to see what people can do off-road. Sounds like a plan, and we're going to be getting some mud in, right? We're going to be creating like a track as well as like a trail for people that don't want to hit jumps and stuff. Well, actually, if you check here, I got some nice mud in the back. That looks like some good mud right there, boss man. Yeah, it does. It should spread nicely, and obviously, we can always get more mud. We're going to be ripping up so much dirt, we'll have plenty to go around. Absolutely. All right, boss man, scraping away this corn stalks, getting us a good base to work on. Watch out. Yeah, you're going, you're going crazy. Just honestly right now, yeah, get rid of the corn stalks, then we can kind of carve out a path. I'm thinking we'll, we're going to try and use this whole entire field. Like, you don't need a, like, a motocross track, but I want like a motocross track, and then you can use ATVs. You can use kind of side-by-side, stuff like that. We can make it a reasonable size. I just, I'm not sure if we want anyone driving something like an Earth Roamer. Well, we a lot of our customers actually drive Earth Roamers. So how cool would it be if you got one, a dedicated place to go off road with it? Do you think we have enough space? If you think we can pull this off, I, I'm down for it. So this is where our mud comes from. This pig just rolls around in dirt slobbers on it and it turns the mud we appreciate you albert all right boss man slicking up the first jump we made and we got everything scraped off good work boss man yes sir thank you very much this place is already looking so much different yeah so a pretty mild jump i told boss man the first jump has to be it's decent it is decent you're gonna get some air it's more of a tabletop it doesn't go straight up and then we got a little berm right here driving around we gotta slick it up a little bit more it's a little aggressive Boss man is working away, building out this mud pit. This thing is huge. I told him to build a big one. I didn't know he, this kind of feels like a pond almost, but he, he's getting to work. He's got it about shaped up and outline of the track is coming in pretty good. And of course, this is the most important because that's going to be your centerpiece. A lot of people will just come to go through the thick, thick mud. Here's a jump I made. It's pretty steep. I think you're going to get some good air hitting this baby. Boss man built like a tabletop. And then I think right now I got to work on making a berm around this tight, tight corner, 90 degree turn, and then a loop D around those trees, the cross will path, and then towards boss man and the excavator. Well, I'm all done doing my part of the track. Boss man is still working and he didn't know I sneaked off and borrowed this baby from a buddy. So I'm going to run through the track for a test drive. And then when I pass through boss man, he's going to be like, who the heck is that? Here we go, Albert. Watch me hit this track. First off, we got a little jump around the berm, hit the brakes. I got to use this thing too. This is a tabletop boss man made. It's all right. Here's a berm. Come through here. All right, get some speed. I'm going to need some speed. Big jump here. Hopefully the suspension is soft. Heck yeah, that was awesome, berm. Then here's the shoot over. So when you're racing with other people, they'll be flying over your head. That's going to be crazy. I'm going to hit this jump. I might make this a bit wider. So you swing a bit wider. You got more room to square up. Here we go. Here's the jump. Oh, we're short by hair. Right, that jump needs a little bit of work. Here's boss man. What are you doing, man? Sir, what are you? Okay. What are you doing, man? Nothing. Just parking my side by side. Let me get out real quick. Do you need some help? Yeah, and actually, now that I think of it, we got the X-Rater here. We should go get that golf cart out of the pool. Ooh, that is a good idea. Okay. Yeah, I can head over there. Well, it looks like the pit's all made. We just need some mud now. Yes, sir. We'll definitely work on that. But here, come to the pool. Let's get this thing dealt with before we start laying in that mud. Well, boss man's just getting down here an hour later, and the golf cart is exactly where we left it, like I suspected. You, did he bring a chain? I forgot one. Oh, I forgot one too. But just, uh, man, this has been the longest drive of my life. I like we we literally should have put it on a semi trailer. Yeah. 
It's Take pretty it slow forever. moving. Just come behind okay. with the bucket and just rip it out of there. I don't care at this point. I don't want to break our wood deck. Nah, it's all right. Just be, just get one of those teeth, like on the roof, maybe, and that way you aren't like smashing it. You know, you're just pull. For, oh, there you go. Oh, yep. it's close. Okay. You'll get it. There you go. Yep, you got it. Exactly. Hey, watch our pool. There we go. I'm trying. And man. just drive backwards. There you go. Just drive backwards. Hey, don't move anything. Just reverse. Reverse, 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 reverse. Nice. There we go. Okay. Right. I got it from here. She should fire up. I just got to throw a little battery juice in her. Oh, that's a little scary. It was in water and it's electric, man. All right. Let's see if it starts. I think it's electric. I can't really tell. Me neither. Oh, it's working. Okay. Go bring that thing and put a do not use sign on it. Oh, for it a while. sounds a lot louder. There's like a grinding noise. That's kind of weird. But yeah, I'm just going to park it right here. All right, nice. Now we can clean the pool and our customers can start using it because they absolutely loved it for the couple days we had it open. Yeah, there's like three days. Are you sure your truck can handle off-roading? Am I sure my truck can handle off-roading? Yeah. Do bears poop in the woods? Uh, I'd assume so. I've never really looked into that. Well, there's your answer. I see. So I assume you can make it through. Correct. I get it now. All right, here we go. Spreading the mud, trying to make it nice and even. But it doesn't need to be perfect. It's literally mud. I can use the skid steer to move it around. So. Yeah, true. But we don't but want yeah. the skid steer getting stuck, too. Oh, man, this thing can handle it. Kubota got this thing in the bag. Here we go. Spreading some more mud. Clear the way. See, this All right, new don't truck is a thick. workhorse. Wait, how thick are we making this? We're making her thick. Thicker than a bowl of oatmeal, you know what I mean? I actually like some pretty watery oatmeal. You know, make it like some soup. All right, Albert, keep making that mud. We need him to keep going. Wait, is Albert the pig? Yes, Albert is the pig. I put a little necklace on him that says Albert. Oh, I heard you saying Albert earlier. I was like, who is he talking to? Imaginary friend? Nope. All right, boss man, he's flinging mud. Oh, you're getting all over yourself. I am getting this all over me. I wish this thing had like, you know, maybe some glass windows. Yeah, or some fenders or something, but this is the mud pit. And I think, I think we're done. It is pretty deep. Some spots. Like, it's almost knee-deep. Pretty crazy. So you're driving through the mud pit. It's going to slow you down a ton. Then you keep going. And there's this, like, creek crossing right here, like, water, wet spot. We filled this thing in with so much mud. This is actually the deepest. And then a couple just berms to make turns on. You got to slow down a bit. And then straight away to the finish line. And the track restarts. So if you, you can do multiple laps, no issues. We need some big vehicles to test out this track with. Because this thing, it's just so light. It can obviously get through this mud. All right, boss man's bringing the tow pig down. All right, I'll jump in. That trailer should be enough to haul it. Boss man, you didn't tell me they had tracks. These are awesome. Yes, sir. Just borrowing them from a friend. This is crazy. They're Can-Am. What are they, Mavericks? I'm not too familiar with these bad boys. I believe these are Mavericks, but yeah, they, they've had some adjustments done to them. Some major upgrades. Perfect. Yeah, that's, uh, that's, I'm sure these are not cheap. I think they're going to perform best in the mud by far. Like maybe not the track and like going fast and stuff, but the mud, they'll probably just ski right over it. All right, boss man, there's a car back there. I know, and there's one in front of me too. I really set it. myself up for failure. No, you here. got it, you got it, you got it. I did not think you. Wow, that was pretty. Okay, well, don't go too far, but that was really good, man. Whenever I get a chance to do something like this, I'd love to. The hair going through your hair, it's beautiful. The hair going through your hair? That's right. Hammer down, big cat. Let's see your rep. Yes, sir. Get out of the way. Big cat's coming through. All right, let's get these babies unloaded. Heck yeah, I'm excited. Yes, sir. I'm looking forward to driving this thing. I'll give you a head start. Three, two, one, go. Here we go. Oh, jeez. Get on it. You better be straight. It's right if you miss some jumps. It better. Oh, better. there's some mud there. There you go. Yeah, I hit the mud. Go, go, go. Here's some mud up ahead. Okay, bank that turn. Oh, jeez. I'm That's on you. Oh, I can I can tell. Big jump, big Here jump, big jump. Yes, sir. Oh, nailed it. Oh, jeez. Come, Come on. Around the corner. These are pretty quick. They are. I, these are, like, perfect for the track. All right, swing wide. Swing really, really wide, and you want to straighten out and hit this jump. Okay, here we go. Come on, come oh, on. Oh, jeez. Oh, no. Boss man Straight wiped out. Enough. Let's go. Oh, jeez. I had to swerve out of your way. Oh, come on. Here we go. Here we go. I'm I might going. need your help flipping back over unless I can get it's it. It's a race. It's a race. All right, I'm jumping out. Pull her down. This mud really slows you down here. There we go. We're mudding in the deep. These tracks do float. That's pretty nice. They're like big old paddles. All right, we got to catch boss man. We're almost there. Bit really thick oh, mud geez. here. I think he beat us, guys. Around the mud. Yep, he won. He's going on lap two, a victory lap. Not for winner. long, buddy. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. 
Move her to lose it, sister. Okay, let's go to the mud pit. Hit the jump, hit the berms. Here we go. Yes, sir. Front flip. Come on. Land it, oh, land my it. My friend doesn't mind. We're ruining these things. Oh, yeah, boss man. He, he's doing, uh, what do you call that? Uh, break dance? You are right in there, boss man? Um, yeah, my, like, it's, I, I feel like the world's sideways right now. All right, I think we made a pretty awesome park. Yeah, you got that thing pretty trashed in there, but these are awesome to try it out on. Let us know, comment below what else we should try on. And I think it's gonna be open for the public tomorrow. So if you guys wanna try an OHV park, a mud pit, come on down to the RV campgrounds. We'll get you a night's stay and you can hit up the trails. Today, we're gonna be building one of my best friends, a new house. Before we do that, we gotta load up the Can-Ams and bring this back. Oh, boss, man, that was close. I got a little close for comfort there. Yeah, you did. All right, let's get these strapped down, ramps up. We got to get these back to your buddy, right? Yeah, I hope he doesn't mind. We switched out his tracks Whoa, for tires. who is that? But Steve, Steve, what's going on, man? What the heck is oh, this? What is the, What do you mean, what is this? What are you, What did you guys build? We built a dirt mud track. And, I'm sorry, we forgot to invite you yesterday. We ripped this thing up. What Wait. do you mean you forgot my invite? Clearly you know what's going on, because why else would you be driving this thing? It was a little secret project of mine. How long have you been secret. working on it? Ever since we got out of prison. Wow. That's like a long time. Hey, do you have a name for this? I got a pretty good one. No, what, what idea do you have for that? Well, okay, it kind of looks like the Batmobile, like Batman's car, but then it's also for like mud and off-roading. So if we combine those words... Muddy bath. Muddy no, bath. Not. I know, I was trying to think. I, I'm really trying to think of something... Uh, I don't know. This is awesome, though. You got a winch in the front. Comment below, guys, what we should call this car. I don't know if you call it a car. Just off-road vehicle. Well, what are you guys doing loading those up on the trailer? Let's get ripping. Yeah, he's right, boss man. We got a couple minutes. Let's let's send him. All right, Steve, take it easy. I guess you don't need to sign a liability waiver because you're third owners in this. Just follow me and boss man, and we'll lead the way, okay? Actually, let's just race. Sounds good to me. So we go straight I don't know here. If this is a three person wide track. Yeah, that's why you gotta make some moves. You gotta be you gotta be dangerous. So it, it okay. we're gonna be going clockwise around it. We'll take a left, follow the dirt path. We'll see you on the other side, brother. Let's go. <laughs> Flooring it. See you later, boys. Oh gosh, slow it down already. I gotta get my camera in view. Oh that thing does good, Steve. There's quite a bit of a lot. Actually, I'm gonna let you guys pass me that way I can watch you. Go, 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 boss man. Oh, jeez. This me. mud really bogs you down. Yes, it does. Big jump. Big jump. Jeez. Here we go. Come on. Oh, I missed it. I could have jumped over boss man there. All right. You're bogged down. Jeez. That thing's almost get. I'm getting stuck. Come on. Go on. Go, Steve. Go, 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 go. Come on. It looks like I'm winning this race so far. Move it or lose it, sister. Not for long. Take it to the inside corner. He almost cut me off. Oh, come on. Come on. Get in the track. Finish line. Finish line. Finish line. Go, 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 go. Oh, you Steve guys won. This. Steve won. Good job. And he that just hit fun. a guy's RV. Oh, jeez. Okay. Come you, on, Steve. You didn't see a thing. Oh, yes, we did. That's why we said it. Hopefully, he's not sleeping in there and he come out in his underwear or something. That would be scary. I think the old guy lives in there. Buster's having a good time. He's playing with us. Oh, Buster. Well, Steve, we're all strapped up. We're, we got to bring these back to Boss Man's buddy. But thanks for stopping by and congrats on finishing this project. This is awesome. Well, thank you for letting me ride on the track. That was really fun. Well, man, it's you own a third of the ground. So honestly, just rip it up whenever you want. It's open to the public this morning. So start using it. Are you, right. are you staying here for the day or? Me? Yeah. Oh, yeah, of course. Okay. Well, we'll see you around then. We've got lots of work to do. So it should be, should be nice having an extra set of hands. All right, Spencer, go drop those off at my friend's house and then come back. I'll have some building supplies here and building some houses. 10-4. I'll be back in a jiffy. Don't say jiffy. This isn't 2011. And there's Boss Man's buddy. He's coming to pick up the Can-Ams. All right, good deal. We got the Can-Ams dropped off. And Boss Man just gave me a text. He said, come down. The semi-trailers can't haul it all. So it sounds like I'll be picking up some building supplies. Well, right when I pulled in, Boss Man did this crazy wheel loader. Where do you need me, big cat? Uh, probably right... Uh, actually, I don't know. Here, Which trailer do you I think this would be best on? Yeah, I could fit on mine unless it's... Do you know the weight? That looks pretty heavy. Well, I'm driving this to move okay, it. Okay, so... okay, back up. So, yep, yeah, back up that way. Keep going back and square up. And then I can move my trailer back. That way you don't got to move those pallets. Here we go. Yeah, definitely. We got to get this on here really good. All right. I can move the trailer. You just go straight. Start getting it flat, man. That's a, I, You don't need it that high. You do not need it that I high. I know, but I, I just want to see what this Volvo can do. So just come forward now, and I'll pull forward just a bit so we don't have any issues. There you go. I'd say you're, per you're perfect, man. 
Unless those pallet forks stick a little bit when it hurt to go. Yeah, you know what I mean? I can go a little bit more. Yeah, then. a little further. So then when you slide out, if it sticks, we got a little wiggle room. All right, I'd say you're good. Back her out. Yep, 10. Yep, see, she's sticking a little bit. I bet I could throw a strap on for you. There you go. All right. Hopefully that can pull it. Yeah, man, that looks good. Got it strapped down. We're just scooting down the road. You said it's a lot of weight. It's actually, yeah, she's squatting. The tread's about to hit your, your, your flatbed. Well, let's get these other pallets loaded up on the semi then. Steve, swing it around. All right, load them up, boys. Let's get that elbow grease going. Hey, Steve, I know you're the truck driver and all, but you can get out and help load. But then who's going to watch the truck? What if someone steals it really quick? Yeah, 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 love, totally. Love the excuses. You don't got one of those trucker bellies yet. You can get up and out. All right, boys, follow me. How's she pulling? Just fine, just fine. That old coming to power. We're all good. All right, drive safe. Maybe put on your hazards. It's up to you. Smart move. Totally forgot. Thanks. We got a long way to go and a short time to get there. What are you singing? What am I singing? You're in a semi truck and you don't know what I'm singing right now? No. Holy I don't. biscuits. I'm just a passenger in here, man. It's part of your CDL test. You got to rehearse the whole course. Well, joke's on you. I don't actually have a CDL. Yeah, but Steve does. He should be chiming in here. I can't say I know the song you're singing, but... Okay, you, uh, do you got a CDL? No. Well... It's okay. We don't need them in this town. All right, fair enough. I don't We're... see many cops. Yeah, true. All right, all right. We'll swing wide. Oh, geez. Uh, a bit wider, Sw Steve. Steve, of course. Oh, oh my... This is why I don't have my CDO. Every single day that you are visiting the park, I have to replace that flower pot. You said you tried to take the test. Is this what happens every time you swing wide? Yeah, kinda. All right, well, just keep swinging wider, man, if there's a flower pot there. It's okay, I got this. Slow and steady. All right, boss man, now I got a work truck, all the tools in here. Perfect, we've been needing one of these. Got a generator so we can run all our power tools off of it. We can charge up batteries. Got a torch, all that stuff. But I was thinking, since you're such a good, like, carpenter and builder, and Steve and I aren't, but we're two guys. What if Steve and I, Steve, get over here. What if we're, we, Steve and I team up? We try and build a house before you can build one. Okay, and what are you doing at the house? Because you, you're talking about something. Yes, and I yes. thought it was kind of cool. I was trying to hold it a secret. So, Jerry, you guys know Jeremiah. Great guy, great guy. Yeah, of course. My bestie. He's my bestie. But anyway, he's been busy. He's been kind of staying at like one of the motels where you rent for like a month at a time. And anyway, we're going to build him a house. I think you'll really appreciate it. Okay. So you guys are doing that with yours. And then I guess I'll just be, you know, more rental houses. Yes. Why not? Exactly. So we'll cater it to, to Jeremiah and make sure it's good for him. What do you say, Steve? Put your hand in the middle. Three, two, one. Teamwork. Yeah, let's go team. Well, my job's now. I'm going to slick up the ground, get ready for the foundation. Steve, where are my tools? Come on, hurry up in there. I can't find anything. Like, where's the screwdriver? Where's the hammer? Where's the the, the wench? Like, I, I'm so confused. The screwdriver, it's probably stuck in your ear, man. Come on, you're running around like a chicken with your head cut off. Boss man's already working. Look, I'm trying my best out here, man. I am too. Wait a second. Boss man's trying way harder than we are. Boss man, what in tarnation? You already got this built? How do you have nothing built yet? Dude, that took us a while. Steve is getting tools. We're organizing things. And, but how do you have this built? It's been like 35 minutes. I'm not done yet. Not done yeah, yet? Yeah, you exactly. It's been such a long time. I've had so much time to work on this. Flooring is in. Lights are hung. Yeah, electricity is working too. I even got a fireplace. Check this out. Wood burning stove and you, you already split some wood and stacked it. Well, yeah, of course. Man, you're just slow. Get back all to right, work. All right. Jeez. Okay, okay. Yes, we need to get back to work. You, boss man, you keep working, dude. By this rate? We'll have this whole entire place built out and we'll be making a bunch of money. I just want to do a really good job here. Maybe if I have time, I'll work on another house. We'll see. We'll see. And for. But I want to see you actually get something done. Yes, so yes, yes. Get to it. Will do. Well, this isn't good. In the back of that ambulance, there goes Steve. He stepped on a nail. I guess a box of nails fell out of the truck. And then he jumped from the bumper down. I already picked up all the nails and I just heard him screaming. There he goes. See you, Steve. Well, guys, comment below. Pray for Steve. He, don't worry. He'll get better. It didn't go too deep, but he's going to take a few days off, get it all bandaged up. But while he was dealing with that, we did finish the foundation here, and we're going to get a building built here, and it'll be perfect for Jeremiah. Oh, there we go. The couch is in. Perfect. The place is all done. I'll give you guys a little outside tour first. This is what I just got done building. Super simple house. Nothing. I mean, it's not simple. It's hard to build, but nothing like extravagant, huge. Jeremiah doesn't need that. Just one floor. 
Got the AC right there, beautiful side, and it kind of looks modern. Love the overhang porch. He'll be nice sitting out here on the summer days. And we used up all the build supplies, and while I built one of those, Boss Man went ahead and built three houses, which is crazy. It took me a little longer because Steve wasn't here to help, but Boss Man, these look great. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, I've been a little bit busy. Yeah, here, check yeah. them out, man. Absolutely. Little quick tours. So we got a skylight up there. We got lots of windows, you know, tons of different rooms, bathrooms, and bedrooms laundry machines you know all your basics absolutely looks good you even decorated the place so these are gonna this is gonna be around a house we're gonna be making money off this right yes airbnb i'm thinking 10 4 so we yeah. have three three new airbnbs which is gonna be great they've been making us a lot of money so far and that one's for jeremiah so we better i better call jeremiah and get him down here yeah and question how much did it cost you to in total for your portion of that build well my labor was free which always helps uh and then the supplies and everything that i totaled it up just a little bit ago it's it's 60 grand it wasn't cheap 60 grand it wasn't bad Jeez. though yeah for for a house you know can't complain then, yeah over here we have this house I, I threw up a you know a little a little plant in here kind of cool and yeah again pretty basic little loft up there and then one more house i like the log cabin theme you already get a little fire going make what are you making some coffee yeah there's actually nothing in there i probably should take out the fire but that's right it's okay it's cool yeah Thank you, thank you. And you build an yeah, A-frame. That's pretty awesome. An A-frame house. You don't see many of those now. These will sell really good in, on Airbnb, that's for sure. People like this style. Oh, yeah. No, yeah, this, this is like, what more can you ask for? And you can literally see the off-road park over there. It's pretty cool. Absolutely. All right, man. Good work. I'm going to get Jeremiah down here. You get your little fan ordered, and uh, I'll talk to you later. All right. Sounds good. See you later. See you. Well, Jeremiah's closing down Dunkin' Donuts. I'm going to pick him up in the tadpole. And he has no idea he's getting a new house today. This is going to be pretty exciting. He'll, I'm sure he'll be jumping for joy. Boy, oh boy, do I got a surprise for you, Jeremiah. It, it's been a while. How, how's Dunkin' been going? Pretty good? Looks like it keeps making a lot of money, so that's awesome. All right, man, you have worked so hard at Dunkin' Donuts that I built you something today. Here is your brand new house. This is yours, Jeremiah. Your name's already on the deed. And guess how much it cost you? Zero buckaroos. Yes, sir. Yeah, no, no. Hey, hey, don't hug me, man. I'm not a hugger. All right, check it out. You got a nice little porch. Do your thing, man. Yeah, no need to take your shoes off. This is your house. I know. I put a piano in here. I know you like to play piano. Very nice bathroom. Oh, jeez, Jeremiah. You do smell a little bit. Thanks for, thanks for spraying that. Yep, if you have a Jeremiah Jr., this is where he would go. He's got a nice little door to the outside there. So this would be your room. This is the master bedroom. Nice closet. Heck yeah. Well, don't shut it on you, man. Hey, I'll get you out. There you go. Hey, hey, no jumping on the bed. I just put that in. Oh, I guess it's your bed. Hey, you can do what you want, Jeremiah. I'm really happy you, you appreciate it and you like it. That's good. Now you got a place to live. So all the hard work you did really paid off, man. I will talk to you later. Yeah, this is your place. Let's we'll shut the door. Enjoy. Well, I decided I'd take Tadpole on a little morning cruise, blow out the cobwebs out of her, and we'll pull in. Buster was out in the field earlier. I had to Crawling back into his kennel. Boss man, come on. Move out of my way, man. Boss man, where, where are you going? I got places to go. I'm picking up our new off-road vehicles. Swing wider. You're going to take out the markers. It's okay. All right, I'm right behind you. This is perfect for Tadpole. I got ramps on this baby. I could at least fit one of them. Yeah, probably just one of them. M maybe some of the bikes. Yeah, I could throw on a few bikes for sure. Boss man's taking the BJ trailer. You guys, I bought that new truck. A lot of you guys were like, why did you get a trailer if you got a new truck and then the new truck can't pull my new trailer? Well, boss man still has his white tow pig and that's what we're going to use to pull that trailer. We're going to call my new red truck, Big Red. You guys voted it in. That got the most votes by far. So thanks for commenting. And that's a really good name. Boss man, do you know where you're going? This is just houses up here. Man, trust me, it, it's going to be a little sketchy. I'll explain once we're there. But yeah, um, just this is the right way. Don't worry about it. It's it's supposed to look really out of the ordinary. Jeez, you just bottomed out the trailer. That pole could barely even make it up here. Yeah, get ready uh, for the next turns. I, I was walking this path earlier today, and let's just say it's uh, a little intense. Jeez, biscuits and gravy, your trailer's dragging. Man, it's your trailer. Sorry about the scratches. That's true. That's true. Okay, uh -oh. swing a bit. Um, oh my goodness. Okay. Should I just back up and down, or? Uh, you gotta swing a bit. I, I honestly, boss man, if you can swing a little bit wider, but at some point, just floor oh. it and go. Is that tadpole back there? Do I hit it? Uh, you good? You're good. You almost hit her. Okay, floor it. Floor it. Go, 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 okay. go. Okay. So go like this. 
Like, crank it. Yep, just go. I think just I'm riding go. up the cliff. Just go. go. Crank it. Don't hurt your truck. The, ta the trailer oh. will make it. Oh, jeez. Popping there wheelies. We go. Okay. There's no regrets. Pretend that that was all smooth. Spencer, stop there. Stop there. Stop yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I need to talk to you before we go and see the guy. Hear me out. You're yeah. going to recognize this guy. He he, he, he lives at our V park. You, you know that guy who, like, he wears that, like, robe everywhere, that white robe, that really old man? Yeah. Yeah, so... I don't know how legal all this is, but he somehow found a way to import all these vehicles and he's going to sell them to us. Now, no one knows about this and he doesn't want us telling people. So keep this just between you and me. So we're getting a good deal. Is that what you're saying? We're getting a good deal. And I think some of these were not, uh, let's just say the taxes weren't paid on them. Okay. I, I got you. I got you. Okay. Oh, there he is. Hey man. Nice to meet you. Yeah. How's it going? Yeah, I recognize you too. Don't don't look at him in the eyes, man. Don't look at him in the okay, eyes. Okay, so sorry. All right, yeah, we're uh, here to pick up some of these boys. Open up. This is a nice place. You got a lot of. Wow. Are these all brand new, boss man? Yep, they should all be brand new. I don't even think they have a single mile put on them. Well, this one looks like it's even got aftermarket wheels and tires. Some of them look fairly stock, and obviously these do not look stock with the tracks on them. Yeah, yeah, definitely not stock for those, but they're similar to the ones we were using the other day, uh, yeah. my friend's ones. Absolutely. So we have, what are these? These are the... The high lifters. Yep. Players Ranger high lifters, 1000s. We got some Can-Am Mavericks. Are these kind of like crossover bikes? These are again, cool. again, I don't know if we imported legally, so like it, it's they're just you know okay they're 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 no name bikes. We'll 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 say that. Okay. Some call them lizards. Boss man, I got a budget. I'm not gonna tell you just yet. Go work a deal with this guy. I'll, we'll take them all. Okay. All right, boss man's working the deal. The guy just shook his head. No. Oh, that didn't look good. Come on, boss man, you can do it. Work your magic. What do you all say? Right. What do you say? Are you down a hundred thousand for both of us? So two hundred total. Let's see. We got one, two. Like, I'm not going to get a better deal. So it's either we take it or leave it. So we got five there plus bikes. That seems a little steep, honestly. I know these Can-Ams, we can mark them up, but work them down Man. a little bit. 75 each. So what is that? That's uh, 150. Okay, okay. Go, I'll go see, do it. 150 total for everything. We can I'll, sell these. I'll try. I'll try. We can sell these Can-Ams for quite a bit. Oh, gee. Okay. Calm down, man. Calm down. Okay. Oh. We'll, 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 do, we'll, yeah, no, no worries. We'll, we'll do the original offer. Spencer? Yep. Yeah, no. 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 Um he he said some mean things to me. We it's a hundred thousand each. There's no yeah. That, that that's just final deal. If you want to talk to him, feel free I know. to, but I uh, do not. let's go ahead, let's shake on it, sign the papers. Well I know there aren't any papers to sign, but we'll start loading things up. Yeah, here, pass me the money. Yep. Thank you. Oh, nice. You just keep that in your pocket. Cool. I do. My favorite thing about old tadpole is these ramps right here. They're awesome and they're automatic. All right, I'll get that dirt bike out of your way, man. Well, I might not have explained to you guys what the heck we're doing. Maybe you guys can infer, but we're gonna be opening up kind of like a small small dealership, especially at first here. We're gonna open a small off-road vehicle dealership. You know, side-by-sides, dirt bikes. We'll get into four-wheelers, maybe jet skis and boats down the road. Right now, boss man and I are thinking we're gonna start off renting these babies out so they'll start making pretty good money. Throw some straps on these babies, the tadpole. Gosh, I you just, I'm gonna keep this thing forever, boss man. I love it. Fold up the ramps, got it strapped down. Boss man's gonna keep loading the 40 footer, but it fills up pretty quick, doesn't it, boss man? Yeah, and he wants all these out of here in one trip, so I don't know what we're gonna do. Well, don't ask me how, but we got everything loaded up and they're rentals. I was telling boss man, they're going to get scratches. They're going to get dents. If he, the guy wanted it loaded out of here all in one trip, we could make it happen. So we got straps on her. Tadpoles loaded down. The tadpole looks awesome. Oh, geez. Okay. Hopefully these straps are holding. There we go. Okay. Okay. Brakes. Brakes. Come uh -oh. on, boss Spend man. They're staying on there. My brakes, aren't, my brakes aren't doing much. I had a rock. I was looking at you. Okay. Yeah, you did. Night. Nice. Okay, really? Tadpole? You got a damn tadpole? Tadpole's got process? a strong front end. That is true. Uh, boss man, is that high lifter supposed to be like that? Yeah, um, so most of the straps held. All right, this is crazy, but we're making it happen. Here we go. Okay, where am I bringing these to? Uh, actually, I don't know. I was just about to ask you. Where are we going to build this little dealership rental shop? Hmm, you know what? Come with me. I haven't taken the tadpole through the mud. Send it. Come on. Oh, jeez. Man, you have a load on there. Oh, uh -oh. we're stuck. There we go. Come on. I rocked her going. Go through the mud. Come on, tadpole. Tadpole's there a beast. Yeah, now uh, I messed up. 
Now what? Hit this jump, he said? Oh, okay. Watch out. All right. What, do you, what, what are we doing over here? What are you thinking? Well, first off, can we acknowledge the fact that my truck is floating? Yeah, you're good, man. We don't care about your okay. truck. You got like three trucks now. Fine. Fair enough. Well, I was thinking, what if we remove some of these trees? You know, maybe yep. like this one and this one. We don't have to go crazy with it. Yeah. And we just, you know, a little kind of or mid-sized shed, we'll call it right on this land okay and then we restore them we can rent them out that makes sense so we have an entrance we can tear out this fence more but there's an entrance to the fence here there's this old silo and kind of like a little building in here have you even been inside this you own this right we own this yeah yeah it, it it's definitely ours but yeah i have not been in there because i just saw a few spiders and i decided to back off honestly this would be good for like where we should like clean them off afterwards yeah all right boss man pull the chainsaw i'm coming in okay oh wow that thing's slow taking out some bushes I'm, I'm trying to take out the sod here so we can get a little rock down place down well you may want to lower your bucket down a bit more there Jeez. we go perfect all right cut down those two trees i'll help move them oh boss man, that's towards the road yeah okay it's fine it, like we have enough distance it's all good yeah 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 you're good okay cut down the next one don't drop it on your truck that one's quite a bit taller oh geez yep you're right here she comes Timber. i hope i'm cutting this the right way boss man's crazy with a chainsaw you got to be careful around him there he goes there we go timber hey you got them both to fall the same direction and that's pretty good thank you yeah it was uh, totally calculated boss man got the trees cleared i'm grinding the last stump and he should be back any minute with the lumber to build the kind of like shed area so he's the carpenter the pro carpenter so he's got all the blueprints and he's gonna get to work quick there we go good work Boss man, I'm ready for you to start building. Are you not gonna help me at all? No, I'm gonna sit back, order lemonade, and just might even get a lawn chair and just watch you. All right, well, let's get to work. Well, I guess, well, I'll get to work. Well, look at that, boss man. You're the boss, man. I had you like my little surprise? Yeah, you you sprinkled some dirt on me when he was doing the construction with the skid loader. Anyway, I, I put a little like picnic table and a little umbrella, and I fell asleep. Yeah, I had, a, I had a mess with you. But anyways, check this thing out, man. This is awesome. This will be perfect size. One overhead garage door, one sliding. That is awesome. Even when you open this, you can still come through with like a dirt bike or a four-wheeler. That works pretty good. Plenty of airflow in here. We aren't going to have it like AC or conditioned. It will be uh, mainly just storage. This works great. And we got electricity. LED lights. That looks good, man. Boss, man. Like I said, you are the man. Let's get these unloaded and get them pulled in. Watch out, boss man. Oh, jeez. Okay, we just got that thing. Well, we already put some scratches on her. It's a rental. Oh, dude, Tadpole. Tadpole's a tank. Boss man's backing up a dirt bike. Never seen that before. And boss man put down the super nice pressure washer. We have these grates to collect the water. That way we don't flood everything. These little French drains in the ground. That works perfect. But let me know what we should name like the mud park. Plus now we have the rental shop. All right, boss man, let's go racing. All right. We got to start at the start. Oh, okay. geez. Okay. Sorry. Saw the new additions we added to the park. Oh, no, I haven't. You did that the other day? Yes, sir. I was actually working on finishing up this morning. Oh, that is a huge ramp. Okay, start at the starting point. This is our official starting point. Should we have helmets on for this? No, get lined up. Let's go. Okay. Actually, yes, you're right. Sorry, Mom. Oh, I'm not good at riding these. Yeah, it takes a little bit of getting used to. All right, you got to floor it through the ramp. Oh, I'm missing it. That's huge. You got some height there. I landed in the mud. I think my bike's a little turned up compared to yours. Yeah, that thing does look quick. How do these do in the mud? Oh, geez. Uh, they sink. They're hard yep. to control. All right, coming around the corner, we're going to be going through the mud hole. You sure you want to do this? You're going to get a little oh, muddy. I, I'm taking this a little tight. I'm sure. I got to change the clothes. Oh, you can power Here through it. Just don't lose the momentum, which I just lost. Okay, I'm off the track. Stay on the track. Come on. I can't get back over. Winner, here winner. Chicken dinner. This is pretty cool. You said you... Oh, yeah, there's another ramp over here. Let's check it out. You kind of placed it weird, but... Send it. Could today get any better? I got a lemonade in my right hand. My swim trunks on. A nice, perfect temperature pool. What Spencer? now, boss man? What now? Get on out of there. We got work to do. What? I just got in the pool. That's okay. We'll, we'll go swimming later today. We got lots to do. Come on. In a nice, heated pool? We're going to go swimming? Um, well, we can make it heated. Just, here, just come with me, man. We're buying ATVs. All right, so we are going to be going camping because with new ATVs, you know, we got to test it out before we put it in our fleet of vehicles at the rental shop. 
Okay, yeah, yeah, that makes sense. We don't have ATVs. We have dirt bikes. What, we have side by sides, the high lifter. So, yeah, get some four wheelers yeah. out here. So, here are the keys for the RV. Go take that and just follow me. We'll, we'll be nice and efficient here today. All right, 10 4. Of course, he just throws me the keys. The slides are still out. I don't even know if this thing's ready to transport. Good thing this thing's really nice. It only takes a couple minutes. And just like that, I hit this little button. Slides come in all at once and it raises up to transport height. Open the gate, boss man. Coming through. All right, all right. Don't hit me. Well, here's a shot of our mud park driving around. We have a few people renting side by sides from us right now, running around the park. So that's pretty awesome. There's our new shed we built, all the toys inside, so we have plenty of room to add more. Hey, boss man, on our drive over, I was thinking, what am I going to get paid? It's been a minute. Oh, yeah. Well, uh, I have not prepared for that question, so what about this? Tomorrow, I'll get you paid. Sound good? Yeah. Yep, fair it's enough. It's going to be a lot more than in the past, because as I said, like, it has been a while, and obviously the stuff we're doing now is making way more money. Yeah, I was going to say, we have a lot more businesses we've opened up since the last time. Boss Man's kind of like our, my finance guy. He pulls it all up, and then I get paid like the end of the week, two weeks, just depends. Well, these are the four-wheelers, right? Yes, sir, and don't worry. These are on me. I paid for them. Oh, thank you. I appreciate it. I feel like these will be great for our rental track and for the mud park, especially because these aren't like crazy fast or anything. They're pretty standard, so somebody's never driven one before. This should be good. Yeah, there was like 10 different motor options. I got like the second one up. So, you know, it's, it's not like the slowest thing in the world, but definitely not beating any kind of speed records. All right, big cat. I'll be following you. All right. I hope you... Uh, oh, you, okay. Yeah, I'm just thinking now the clearance on that thing. It's not the best on that well, RV. Where are we going? We're going camping. You told me to bring the RV. Don't tell me we're going up the mountain again. Well, of course we're going up the mountain. You what? already knew that. We're going up mountains, no. but... It's it's a bit of a different trail than we used to. You you'll see. What if we just went to Cuddy's campgrounds? No, I no, mean, no. That's no, on the no. edge of town. Man, that's where everybody man. hangs out. St stop being lame. We're gonna have some fun here. Okay, I'm jumping in. Let's go. Do you guys remember that's the used car dealership when we came into town where I bought my first truck? We've done a lot of business there. But I was thinking, should Boss Ben and I ever move locations? Let me know what map if you want me to move locations. Just kind of testing the water. Let me know in the comments below. Boss man, we've still got a bunch of tractors we need to sell. We don't use them no more. The quicker we sell it, the quicker our pockets grow. That is true. I guess I did pay like millions for all that stuff. All right, man. We have a bridge coming up. I don't think I've been this way. Where are you taking me? We went part of this way a long time ago, but yeah, uh, we're definitely not going this full route before. Unless, you, unless you've been on some trips without me. Think this thing can support the RV? Holy biscuits. I hope so, but that's, you're going to be hanging to the right. That's a scary fall. That is pretty cool, though. That's for sure. Man, you're so far back. Hurry up. I was admiring the waterfall. We got to stop and turn around or drive the foilers down there sometime. Okay, we will definitely do that. We'll add that on the list of things to do. Move it or lose it, sister. You were saying I was going slow? Make some oh, room. I had to wait up for you. On your left. Oh, geez. No, I said okay. on your left. What are yeah, you doing? You didn't give me time to move. I said it a long time are ago. Are we taking a left turn? I guess so. There we go. Watch out. Couple logs in the road. What is this? McKinley Here's State Park. Some water. Yes, oh, sir. This is pretty nice. And it, it wasn't a bad drive up here this time. Yeah, this was a pretty smooth trip. Besides for a little one incident there. But most of it was good. Think this is a good level ground for the trailer? Uh, no, dude, you're bottoming out. Where do you see good level ground for the camper? Uh, no. What about I don't. Like right here? Sure, that works. A little lean to it, but when I put out the supports, this camper auto levels to an extent. All right, supports coming down, slides going out. Well, everything's good. The bubbles are level, and I'm happy with where we parked. Oh, I forgot to bring a helmet, boss man. Do you got a spare? I do, but you're not gonna like it. What the heck is this, boss man? Uh, yeah. So, it's all I had. Man, let's hit some trails. You mentioned you want to go to that water? Yeah, yeah, for sure. Uh-oh. Jeez, boss man. Where are you? What's up? I just hit a jump out of nowhere. Good thing I had my helmet. Boss man, watch out for some trees. Oh, you're zigzagging like crazy. Yes, sir. Part of the fun. I don't see anyone in my way. Yeah, these four-wheelers are pretty stable going down high speeds. Super important if we're going to rent these out. Because we need them to be stable. Four-wheelers, they say they're the most dangerous. This is uh, intense. I didn't realize it was this tall of a bridge. All right, boss man. We're going to be testing these four-wheelers out right here. Oh, geez. There you go. Okay. Here we are. Okay. I feel like we're going to tip forward there. 
Uh, boss man, I'm about going off the edge. Yeah, uh, it's a little slippery here, but hey, the wheels are holding up, so this is a good tire test. They are. Well, let me get off. I want to look at this thing. Jeez, you think any fish? Dude, that's that would be the coolest water slide ever. Um, man, I think if a fish goes down there, they're uh, gonna be done swimming for the day. How are we gonna get out of this now? Just find your way, man. Here we Either go. go an easy route or a hard route. Look at that. Uh oh, don't tip backwards. I'm spinning. Come on, I need some traction. All right, I you think the best be get up way there. is the way we came down, boss man. Oh, that's so boring. It is, but there we go. Okay, that was steeper than I thought. Jeez. Let's see it. There you okay, go. Okay, okay. I don't know why I call this boring. This is kind of sketchy. Here we go. Okay. Nice. Well, are you ready for some rocks? Because I know a great trail. Yep, I'll follow you. Hey, boss man, that sign back there said rough road ahead. Ah, Do don't not worry proceed. about it. We're looking for the rough road. That's true. We are on ATVs, but it said, it literally said, do not proceed. Oh, um, I don't know then. Okay, oh, geez. Careful. Slick it's spot. A slippery. Yeah, I did not expect that. Here we go. Watch this turn. There's a rock. Why is there a rock there? That is such a big rock. All right. They even drew us a little picture of our ATVs. Oh, yeah. This is it. Jeez, this is the ultimate test. Anytime. We're gonna buy something, boss man. We should just take it here. Yeah, but the only thing is, when it's rainy, this gets so muddy. It comes nearly undrivable. But I guess that's also a great thing to test. You're good at navigating through this, man. Straight up. Yes, sir. I'm gonna floor it. See how quick I can make it. Oh, All it's right. spinning. I'm spinning. I'm in four wheel drive, obviously, but I'm spinning a bit. Come on. Come on, big girl. The 500 cc's, they might not be enough. Oh, go, this is go, go, a lot go, steeper go, than go, I thought. Go. Come on. Oh, I bought him down. That was that was not smart. Oh, oh no. Oh no. Get the ammo helmet on. Alright, push, push, push. There we go. Don't be breaking these things. I won't. Oh jeez. Do you see I got trailer hitches put on the back of these? Yeah, no, that's handy. I don't know what exactly we'll be pulling with it, but you know, maybe we can get like a little small trailer or something like that. There we go. I'm going straight up the cliff. Hill climbing. The finisher. That's what they call it. The finisher. Come on, baby. I believe I can fly. Don't fly. Don't fly, man. I believe I can tackle boss, man. Move no. or lose it. Come on. <laughs> man, my wheels are spinning. Last one to the top loses. Go, go, go. Come on. Oh, I'm no. I'm trying. I'm okay. trying, What man. is this? Uh, That's a good question. Straight up and down. Come on. He's right behind me. Jeez. Oh, jeez. Don't, don't, don't fall tip. off. Don't do any sudden moves. Oh, I'm, I'm closing ground, but I think I think won. this is it. Boss man, I'm kind of thinking we got to do a durability test. If we're going to have these as rentals, people are going to rent them. They're going to beat up on them. They won't care about them. We got to see how, how they hold up to a little stress. See you later, four-wheeler. Oh, geez. Okay. Oh, she's rolling. Yours landed it. Oh, okay. in the trees. No, no, no. Oh, it's still going. Oh, my goodness. And it landed it. That's a durability <laughs> test right there. There you go. Oh, I hit a tree. That's a good durability test. Boss man, when we do a durability test, we only need to do one. This is pretty cool. It's like a little half pipe section. Watch this. Okay. Boss man, it's been three hours. You don't know where you're going. Wait, this is looking familiar. This is looking familiar. My Apple I Air know, Tracker died an hour ago, dude. There's no way you're going to find it. Um, I don't know. I see trees and grass. This does look somewhat familiar because it's kind of open. Is that... What's that white thing over there? My flashlight's reflecting off of it. Uh, oh, that might be it. Let's see, let's see. That looks like somebody's truck. It might not be ours, though. Hopefully we didn't get robbed. Wait, Just there's the sign. For hours. McKinley State Park. Anything. We made it. We made it. Yes. Didn't you leave your yeah. RV on? I left Why is it off? Uh, the generator should... Uh, the generator turned off, too. I don't know. That's not good. We need a generator for tonight. Here, see if you can get this thing started. All right, it's running. Uh, okay, so how are we doing this? Do I get the master bedroom and you get the kitchen table? Uh, I brought a hammock for you. You can strap it underneath what? the trailer and just lay there. What do you mean underneath the trailer? Who yeah. do you think I am? You can like go underneath the trailer. The dude won't sit on you. It'll be, it'll be nice. I wonder, what if I do it between the truck body and the trailer? I could detach. Yeah, yeah that'd be cool. That'd be really cool. <sighs> Boss man, how do you sleep? Here's a cup of coffee well, for you. I slept with my helmet on, which was a mistake, but besides that, I'm doing pretty good. All right, boss man. Just got back from Steve's. Checking in on all him. Right. He's doing all good. 
He is. He's all healed up or still recovering? He's getting there. Still hobbling around a bit on a crutch, but he, in a couple days, he'll be fine. Okay, well, tell him I wish him the best. I'll, I might send him a text here later today, but anyways. I stopped back here. We gotta get on that shift. Yes, man. We are actually running a few minutes behind. Luckily, I'm the boss there, so nothing to worry about. But I gotta pay you, because I keep putting that off. And, well, um... So you know how we have like the RV park, restaurant, Dunkin' Donuts, rental houses, fire department, mud pit, and the off-road rental shop? And it's been three weeks since you paid me? Yes. Yeah. So um, here's $100,000. Jeez, that's pretty good. Yes, sir. I, I was like amazed that it was that much. So yeah, definitely don't lose that check. And we haven't but... sold any more of our like mobile homes that we've been building out, correct? No, but speaking of that, you got a buyer. There's actually there there are a few people looking at them right now. Two of them potentially might be might be uh, bought here within the next few days. So we'll, we'll we'll just you know keep an eye on things and hopefully it all works out. But that's for another time. We got to get moving, yes. man. We got to go. Bossman and I are late for a shift at the fire station. I haven't shown too many shifts. I've worked there. I have been working a bit, but it's been pretty slow. We've just been washing trucks, doing kind of boring stuff, honestly. With that 100k paycheck, we're getting a heck of a lot closer to a million, a couple more mobile homes sold, and don't spend any of my money, and we should be pretty close. All right, what's the plan for today, boss man? Well, we got to start by cleaning. I know, not the most fun, but we got to get it done so we can be ready for all the calls that might be thrown our way. And the guys before us, they had a small house fire, is that right? Yep, yep. They did, and there's, you know, lots of, like, our vehicles are just looking dirty. Yeah, they got a lot of dust and ash from that. That's for sure. We'll pull them out, but they got it taken care of before it spread to the neighbors, and I don't think the house is going to be a total loss, so good deal by them. Yep, this one sure is pretty dirty. I think Rescue 1 is, I think it's my favorite truck. Yep, here, let's uh, make sure, let's do a check, you know, make sure the lights are working. Yep, check the oil, tire pressure. All the lights on. See any that are needing new bulbs or anything? Oh, you're good. Perfect. Then this is our engine one, kind of an older style truck, but it works good for in town. Guys can just ride on the back here, jump off, get going. It's got all our hoses. All the lights on here are working too? Yep, looks good. Perfect. This thing can fit down an alleyway pretty, pretty, it, it's pretty small, pretty narrow. So it works really good, turns sharp. That's what you need when you're in tight quarters. Oh no, Spencer, we're getting a call. We gotta go, we gotta oh, go. We're getting a call. All right, I'll put away the power wall washer. Come on, this thing's always weird. Okay, got it. Uh, what's the call? What do we need? Okay, we need our rescue trucks. It is for a construction site. Seems like there was some kind of rock collapse. Okay. Someone is just squished. Okay, no fire, no fire. No fire, no. All right. Don't need anything like that. Hopefully there's no fire that's gonna start. Rescue Never trucks, let's these. roll out. We gotta go, we gotta go, boss man. Lights and sirens, turn and burn. Okay, there's a bunch of workers on scene. Police are already there. And it is the Hummer. Why, what? Why does someone have a Hummer at a job site? Anyways, Hummer is completely squished under a bunch of rocks. They said it's some serious damage. Move it or lose it, man. I gotta get there. Not, okay, okay, okay. I'm trying to read this computer monitor, I know, man. I gotta go. We gotta get there. It sounds like we're gonna need the Jaws of Life, huh? Oh, for sure. Okay. Yeah, no doubt about is that. Is he trapped? Gonna need... oh, yeah, yeah, someone is trapped in there. One person, two? One... We don't know exactly, but there's at least one that's accounted for. All right, we gotta go. We gotta go. I'm flooring it. Are you pedaling the metal? I am. That thing's a lot faster than this is. Drop the hammer, man. We gotta head up here. We're a couple minutes out. This isn't good. I hate when somebody's trapped in something in boulders, you're saying. Rocks fell on them? Yeah, apparently there's quite a few. I don't know to what extent, you know. They don't really share these details with us over the phone. Yep, we've been to this mining site before, if you guys remember. So hopefully it's not as bad as last time. That was pretty crazy. Thing fell off a cliff. It was scary. Do we have ambulance down there yet? Uh, let me see, let me see. One is dispatched, but there's still a few minutes out. Okay, we're going to be first on scene? Yes. Oh, well, there's, there's currently police officers there. Okay, good deal. But I don't see any other departments. The one closest to here... They are all out at a fire that's nearby, so. Dang. Yeah, all there right. won't be any help. All right, boss man, I'm just getting here. I don't see anything. Where's this at? It seems like it's down, but it's actually right by where we were for the last call. Okay, 10-4. I'm a couple seconds ahead of you. I'm going to get down there. I'll radio in information when I see it. Okay. I'm getting air. It's bumpy. Dang, this doesn't look good. Sir, sir, are you okay? My arm's broken. I can't open the door. Okay, okay, just hang on, hang on. We're gonna get you out. We gotta move these rocks. 
If you can undo your seatbelt, try and do it. Oh, uh, he's not looking good, Spencer. Yeah, a broken arm doesn't help. Okay, let's start getting these boulders out of here. We're gonna try and get this door open. It looks like the best door. Okay, uh, I'm worried about these rocks sliding around. You might... Oh, I don't know, man. We gotta risk There's it. Like no... Yeah, okay, okay. Um, here, I'm getting first your truck. You first. got a winch. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, you know what? Let's attach a bar, maybe, and some straps, and see if we could just pull these one by one. All right, I'm thinking let's get this one first, because there's just lots that is on it. There we go. Get the winch hooked up. That thing's handy. Here she comes. Bring the big one with it. Come on. Two for one, please. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. The winch is not able to handle this weight. Come on. Go, keep go. Keep going. There we go. There we go. All right, a little bit more, and we're... All right, we're good. We're good. Undo it. Okay. All right, next rock. Winch it, winch it. I think we're going to be free. Okay. Man, man, we that can't pull huge. this much weight. I got it, I got we it, can. I got it. Go, 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 go. Oh, Spencer, we need to get some of these rocks off the roof. It's able just to squish at any time. Yeah, it's not too safe. I'm going to jump in this wheel loader. They said I can use it. Did they, or are you making that up? I'm making it up. Okay, well, do you know how to use that thing? No. All right, oh, hold geez. on. Okay, okay, okay. Hold on. Sir, sir, close your eyes. You, you, you don't want to see this. I got you, I got you. Drive, drive, get drive. It off, get it off. Perfect. I think we're almost good, boss man. Man, I do not want any risk of collapse here. That frame is not looking okay. 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 That's it. Spencer, Spencer, you are no longer allowed to drive okay. that thing. Okay. Open this thing up. Here's the jaws of life. Get it cranking. All right, sir. Watch his arm, boss man. Undo his seatbelt. Oh, I, I'm cutting it. I'm cutting it. Okay, it's not slide out. out. Slide out, man. Okay, hold on, hold on. Jeez, here's some water. Where is the ambulance? I don't know. I think they got lost. Yeah, okay, I'm, I'm calling dispatch. Spencer, they crashed on their way. I'm going what? back to the station and getting an ambulance. No, just I'm get him in one of these them. cars and get him down to the hospital right Man, away. we can't. We can't. He's Look at his condition. All right. All right. Just keep him here. I'll be right back. Okay. All right, man. What the, What were you doing? To, how did this happen? I was working on a car and rolled off the side of the hill. You are working? Oh, you were working up there? Yeah. And then these rocks came with you? Oh, I see. You had an engine yeah. on the back here. You're putting in a new engine in some piece of equipment, I'm guessing? Yep. Well, good thing you made it. Well... You haven't made it yet, but we're going to get you to the hospital, sir. Your back doesn't look the best, too, man. How, how are you feeling? A little lightheaded. See if you can stand up. Oh, you can't stand up. Okay, just stay where you're at. Stay where you're at. That's probably not a good idea to stand up. All right, put your arm around my back. Let's walk you down nice and slow. Come on. You got it. You got it, man. All right, boss man, get his other side. Help him yep. in here. Sir, what's your name? I forgot to ask. It's Bolt. All right, you're cleared. Go, boss man, go. All right, you got the scene? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll take care of everything, pretty much. Well, scene is cleaned up. I'm gonna head back to the station. I'll see you there in a little bit. All right, we gotta get everything back in the fire station. Looks good. I quickly washed everything off again that we got dirty, but no worries. Shut all the doors, and that's the end of my shift. There we go. All right, boss man, what do you want? Glaze, we got sprinkles, chocolate, a little frosting. Well, I just finished eating one of each of them. Uh, jelly oh, filled. Uh, you know Get a jelly filled. Oh, uh, okay, okay. They're a little messy. That's all right. Do, do you like the fit? I thought the boots go really well with it. Uh, oh, oh, someone's here, know. man. Oh, sorry. That's my job. Bolt, is that you, man? Yep. Dude, how, how are you are doing? You? You're already out of the hospital? Yeah, I'm doing good. I broke my leg. Okay, I broke, broke your leg. leg. Your yeah. arm, it looks like. Jeez. Oh, how long are you, like, in this for? Do you know, or...? Couple months. I'm sorry to hear, man. You're pretty lucky. Yeah. You're really lucky. Falling hundreds of feet down, boulders on top of you. In a couple months, you'll be walking, huh? Yep. Here's a couple donuts and a coffee for you, man. Free of charge. I appreciate it. Yeah. I came to thank you for saving me. Oh, yeah, no problem. Of course, man. It's it's our job. Yeah, we're, we're happy to help. Uh, you're welcome here, like, any time. What are you going to be up to now, I'm assuming not gonna be at the construction site or yeah i got laid off there because of my injuries so i might go back to this can-am dealership i used to be a mechanic there oh can -Am you're a mechanic well steve a good friend of ours he's got a shop and he's always looking to hire wait you said can-am dealership oh he, he might be he could run a rental cool. fleet for you for our four-wheelers and stuff here you know what come with us i want you to see these vehicles i wonder i wonder if it's like in your expertise all right man this is it this is our place we're just started this business yeah you have some mavericks at the streets yep yeah. so you're super oh, familiar with can ams it yeah. sounds like let's say hypothetically right just hypothetical here uh if one of these was to get damaged do you think you'd be able to fix it like you know them enough to repair or yeah i could fit some they're pretty simple 
All right, man. Well, you're hired. Congrats. And yeah, you got a lot to do once you get back to full health. We're going to keep you busy, that's for sure. Well, I got the morning free, put on my trunks. I'm going to jump in the pool here, start it off my day with a cannonball. Yay, yay. There's nothing better than just hanging out poolside. I have some work to do this afternoon. Don't judge me. I just don't hang in the pool all day. I am hopefully going to sell that mobile home over there. And then the one with the lawnmower next to it. I need to get that one ready to sell after I sell that one. Uh, boss man, you weren't supposed to be to work this early. Uh, we got work to do, man. No, cannonball. No, man. Come on, get out of the pool. We got work to do. We what? are selling the farm equipment. What? That was not on today's schedule. I got some work to do this uh -huh. afternoon. I was free all morning. Oh, perfect. Then this this works out great. No. It should only take the morning, and you will still be able to do whatever you got to do later. All right, well, at least I got a few minutes in the pool. What's the plan? We're selling all that equipment? Yes, all of it. Like every single piece. We are not going to stop until it is off our property. How the heck are you going to sell all of that equipment, big cat? Well, we're going to have a huge auction and everything's going to go. We're going to have donuts, coffee, and, oh, yeah. you know, just make all these people really happy to be here. And then we're going to take all their money. Well, boss man setting up the auction, it's my job to get some donuts, hot chocolate, coffee. I'm heading down. Down to Dunkin Donuts Jeremiah should have it warm and ready when we get there and I get to take boss man's new truck Jeremiah I'm here to pick up the donuts and coffee this man is a workaholic he gets her done no matter what all right toss her in there big cat there we go that's a lot of donuts right there looks super good Jeremiah all right we got the coffee here yep there you go good toss all right one more set of donuts that should be good all right boss man does this work right here I'll just back her up Yep, yep, yep. There we go. Finally. Been waiting for this stuff. Hello, everybody. Help yourself. We got coffee, donuts, ice cream, water. Everything's for free. Thanks for coming down today. Hey, boss man, do you have an auctioneer? Like, how, how are we going to do this? So, the auctioneer decided to cancel last second. What? And, yeah, we're, we you have to do this ourselves. Okay, okay. So, it's going to take some teamwork, man. Me and you. Yeah. Who's going to do the talking? You're going to have to do. I'll do the auctioneering if you got to spot people. When they raise their hand, you got to yell like, yep. Okay, okay, okay. That sounds good. I'll, uh, yeah, yeah, this will work. All right, welcome everybody down to our farm. All this equipment was bought brand brand new by this gentleman right here, boss man. We ran it for one, what, one year on like 200 acres. So super, super low, low hours, low, low acres. Yep, no issues with anything here, so... What you see is what you get, and if there are any issues that arise, that's on you. So Spencer, start doing your thing. We're, we're selling uh, uh, we're selling both planners at once. So you, you buy one, you get two. No, just joking. You gotta pay for two, but you it, it's a package deal. All right, two seventeen seventy five. They're the narrow transport. Super nice going down the road. Three point. Started off at a hundred thousand dollars. Can I get a hundred thousand? Hundred thousand. Oh. All right. Guy in the red shirt. We're going up by tens. One ten. Hundred ten thousand. Hundred ten thousand. Uh, who is it? Who is it? Okay, okay. Person, uh, orange vest, orange vest. All right, we're up at it. Can I get 150, 150, 150, 150K? Come on, someone 150. Going once, we're selling these quick. I'm not an auctioneer. Blue shirt, blue shirt. All right, going 200,000, 200. Can boss man get the big old 200,000? Going once. These are going cheap, going twice. And sold for 150. And just so you guys know, we will transport down, obviously, for a fee. But if you guys need this stuff anywhere, just let us know. Boss, man, you got robbed there, dude. You paid like 150 Yeah, I know. I know. I know. It's I fine. Know. It, we're it's just okay, getting it okay. sold. All right. We're selling John Deere Combine. And this one is a package deal as well. So if you buy this combine, you get the corn header. You get the draper head over there. I think it's 45 foot wide. But we're also selling this case combine 92 50 with it as well header combo so you're buying two combines when we're selling this one starting off at one million dollars here we go we're going up by a hundred thousand each time yep, red one shirt million. red oh, shirt geez okay one 100 1.1 1 .1 mil black suit yep okay 1.2 geez this is easy 1.2 uh, million oh okay the woman over there okay we're upping it we're asking 1.5 million dollars 1.5 red Can shirt I get it? red shirt yes, sir. there we go 1.6 million dollars. Can we get a 1.6? 1. 1.6 1. 6 million. Guy these in are, the hat. Guy in the hat. Okay. Yep. These are literally brand new machines. 1.7. 1. 1.7 1. 7 million. Going once. Going twice. White robe. Yep. Oh. Okay. 1.8. Here we go. 1.8 million. Going once. Going twice. Sold to the guy in the white robe. All right. What's next, Spencer? The rest, we're selling off the soil finisher. This weird planner that you bought. Don't know why you bought it. These two trailers. Super nice. Super bees. 
And then we're going to be selling the Elmer's grain cart. So how many bushel? 1,300 bushel. So we're selling all four of these together. We're just getting her done. Hey, can I get 100 grand? 100 grand? Yep. 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 There we go. 200. 200,000. 200,000. We're going up fast here. Uh, wait. Uh, Spencer, the guy in the black suit just went twice back to back. That's Is fine. That okay? Just keep going. Yeah. Oh, yep. Okay. 200,000. Yep. Yes. 200,000. Oh, yep. Okay. Uh, yeah. Black suit. 250,000. Going once. Going black suit twice. again. Okay, what black the heck suit is going again. on here? Okay, just uh, 500,000 buys it all. Here we go. Last bid. Black suit. Yep. Going once, going twice. Sold. 500 grand. What just happened there? Why did he keep upping his own I don't bid? Know. Don't ask him. That's so weird. Cash the check, man. Okay. All right, boss man. This is going to be interesting. We're driving these down to the guy's place. Yes, sir. And yeah, it's uh, it's a bit of a ways away, so this is going to be fun. My 18 row head does not fold up. Who the heck bought this? Uh, I don't know. It must have been some weirdo. Flashers and beacons, boss man. Hopefully we fit down the bridge. Yep. Oh, geez. I didn't even think about the bridge. You better be Wait. very careful driving 30 that. inches times 18. How wide is this thing? The sign says narrow bridge ahead. Get skinny. Oh, come on. Okay. Uh, boss man, that's not going to work. Remind me to come back and pick that up, okay? Okay. There, much yeah, better. Yeah, I barely fit through here. This is definitely a narrow bridge. Yeah, it is. That's for sure. Boss man, he said drop it off in front of the building here, I guess. Northwest Stockyard. Interesting. Okay. Uh, yep. Just pull in and shut her down. Leave the keys in it. Wait, Spencer. Yeah. How are we going to get back? We're going to hitchhike. We'll head back up to the road. It's not far. Maybe call an Uber. We'll figure it out. Uh, uh, sir, we just need a ride. That's all. Watch out for traffic, boss man. Oh. Oh, yeah. I think he's trying to take off on us. Hey, we got five bucks. We just need to get down the road. Okay, he's doing I, it. He's doing it. Here, yeah, give me the okay. five bucks. All right, man. Thanks for the ride. If you ever need a place to park an RV or want a free dinner, we have a restaurant. So stop in, say your name's Albert, and we'll get you taken care of. All right, I got my planner strapped on here. I think I'm good to go. PG trailer's coming in handy. It will help boss man. Boss man, you don't need any help. How the heck you get that up there? Wasn't the best process. It just, it, there's a few scratches. Again, sold as is, so it, it's good. Just boss man, when it's questions. sold as is, that means like when you're looking at it, like you can't damage it in transport, even though it's sold as is. They bought it. Yeah, it, 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 they just didn't look at it close enough. All right, boss man, you got it. You got it. Go, go, go. What a beast. Hey, boss man, I I got like 20 minutes. I got to meet somebody back at the mobile home to try and sell it. Okay, well, we are just here now, so. Left turn, bullying. in. I got to run, boss man. You do the rest, but I, I do want to get paid here today. Sounds good. All right, guys, hurry, hurry, hurry. The guy texted a couple minutes ago, said he already showed up. This is a terrible look for me. I'm trying to sell him this thing. I'm not even showing up on time. I'm going to be pulling in with a big trailer. Hopefully this guy's understanding. I hate to be late. Howdy, sir. My name's Spencer. Sorry, I am late. Oh, you have a beautiful car, sir. This is our unit for sale. It's our only one currently for sale. So a lot of people bidding on it. It's uh, it's kind of, uh, I think it's a pretty good price, honestly. Check it out. Everything's new. This was dropped down a couple weeks ago. We have all new landscaping around it. Obviously new AC, furnace, you know, all the amenities you'd want. And you're in a prime location. And this is going for 600,000 buckaroos. And then you get access to the pool here. Everything that the grounds have to offer. You get half off dinners at our restaurant and all the, all the, all the good stuff. We do not have a garage, unfortunately. So you could rent some space. We have a space in there that you could rent out for your car. All right, man, you'll take it. Yes, sir. 600,000. Uh, check, cash, any way you want to pay. Works for me. Oh, perfect check got it well thank you for your business go ahead and meet your neighbors there they've all bought recently as well very nice people oh by the way you get a free golf cart for the year i gotta rip that for sale sign out for you sir i'll take care of that here there we go you're the new owner oh you want the sign okay here's the sign man there you go well, that guy was a cool guy awesome he's happy with it he's just by himself he has a really nice car and it sounds like this is like his second or third home because he loves to be at the foothills of the mountains he does a lot, a lot of activities there so that's pretty cool oh there he is, just in time, boss man. Got her sold. Hey, awesome. One sec, let me park this thing. Yep, go ahead. Let's see those backup skills, big cat. Here she goes. Looks good. Well, boss man, thanks to you. I was five minutes late to meet the, the buyer. But he didn't mind, but hey, you owe me next time. Yeah, speaking of owing you, I actually do owe you some yeah. money. Yeah, how much did we get from selling all the equipment? You said you were going to give me some. Uh, I'm giving you some of the transport costs. I'm not... Okay. I'm not Fair enough. I don't think I'm giving you any of my almost, millions I just made. It almost just cost us 200 grand each. If I was going to be late, then he left just because mm -hmm. I was helping you. 
I mean, speaking of which, so we're good with that sale? Yes. So you got, you got 200, 200, I got 200, Steve got 200. Awesome. Okay. And here is, you know what? I'm feeling generous. We'll do 9,000. That's it? Do you want 10? Make it 10 even. Okay, here you go. Ten thousand dollars. All right. Well, now that we got one sold, our, we got to build the next one. We got to get the next one ready, listed on the market. Did you tell the guy that there's going to be construction going on today? It doesn't take us a long time. He, he'll understand. Okay. We'll just try to keep the noise down. Nice. All right. That looks good. We got the steps in, canopy down, AC installed. Now we got to get some landscaping done around here. And see, it's not that much work, boss man. Yeah, it's. It's not terrible, but also remember, uh, when transporting these, you may have gotten stuck in mud, and then when you got a tow truck stuck in mud, and then I had to come rescue you and Steve, and it's it's a process, man. That's true. It is a process. That is that is true. Thank goodness we haven't had another, like, flood like that. Otherwise, this place would be nice and muddy. It's good and dry. I'll start back scraping some of this, start planting some of those, the grass, the flowers, the trees. Should be good. All right, let's get to it. Well, a couple hours of work got us complete here. We installed a fence, divides the neighbors really good. We got the flowers in here, landscaping, a few more touch-up stuff we're going to do. But for the most part, it's ready to take pictures and put it on sale. There we go. Boss man's loving the pool. It's been a while since you've been in here, man. Yes, sir. I like the temperature of this, too. It's a lot warmer now than last oh. time I was in here. I, I might have peed in it. That's why. Well, I'm on my way to Duncan. See you, Jeremiah, and get myself a nice cup of coffee. Oh, there's some cops right here. What the heck is going on? Looks like some people are stuck. All right, check the road. Nobody's coming. Yep, sorry, officers. I'm going to go give them some help. Yo, man, man, just relax. Easy on the throttle. Dude, you're stuck. Back it off. Back it off. This guy's just flooring it in the mud. Jeez. What the heck? This place is a muddy mess. Everybody's stuck. All right, I'm going to call boss man. We're going to help these guys out. Maybe call Steve with his tow trucks. Hey, boss man, this is Spence. Hey, what's up? Hey, just I just getting up. Jeez, wake up, man. What time is it? But I, I was just uh, going. I slept in. No worries. I was going to Dunkin' Donuts, and I was gonna actually grab you a coffee. And anyway, the the cattle livestock yard just across the road is literally packed with mud. There's like five or six cars cattle... just stuck. Wait, weren't they having an auction today? Yeah, they were having an auction this morning, and then it rained a bunch last night, and I think they all tried to drive in, and they got stuck. Oh, well, I'm glad we didn't go there then. We would have been stuck too. So I'm assuming this means you need me to come over there. Yeah, let's go ahead and help, help him out. And I was going to text Steve. I know he's super busy today. He's going to be working on cars. I was going to ask, could we borrow some of his tow trucks maybe? And we could just pull him out. Man, man Steve's out of town. Oh, After his injury, town. he went away with his wife on vacation. Okay, okay. Uh, maybe I'll give him a call. Is there any other options? I'm trying to think. Like, I have a spare key. Okay. You know, I could just, you Do know, we have borrow. Else we'll be careful. That you have a winch on. Well, there's the fire truck. Okay. We could use that. We, we could, have one. It's pretty simple. Really simple situation. If we have a winch, it'll, it should be able to pull everybody out. All right, boss man, what truck were you thinking? All right. Well, I guess we can use a heavy rescue one. Okay. I see this has the nice winch on the front, but this thing is, you know, it, it's, it's known for getting stuck in mud. Go ahead. Here's the keys. Fire it up. Boss man, it's literally like we can push this thing in. It's just down the road. So, okay. Just fire it up. How many vehicles are we talking about here? I think there's five or six. Some are trucks, a couple are like little SUVs, Jeeps, and stuff. Now, do I need my lights on for this? No, man. You don't like literally take your next right and we're there. You don't Oh, need it's like I yeah. literally can see it already. Yeah, some officers pulled in. I don't think they wanted anybody else getting stuck there. Oh, yeah. Oh, those are some nice cop cars. Okay. Oh, wow. It's already getting muddy. Yeah, it's a little soft. You're going to be fine. You're going to be fine. Just don't go into the thick stuff. Did these guys really think they were going to make it through that? Like, I can visually just see that that was not going to work. Yeah, I agree. I'll get my truck out of the way here, and I'll be I'll be your cable, cable boy. And tie it around this little thing. Perfect. All right, boss man, you are hooked up. Just turn her on, and oh, I'll jump in and make sure the truck's in neutral. All right, turn it on. Yeah, these people just literally left. Put it in neutral. Okay, boss man, you're good to roll. Here we go. All right. I mean, Is she moving? Yeah, it's moving. I could get in there and give it some gas, but there's no reason unless unless it starts slipping. Yeah, I don't want to risk getting it sunk down even further. I'm going to try fast winching. Yeah, it's rolling. Tires are actually rolling. I'm surprised. Thought it would just drag. Okay, that's good. Getting lots of tension on this cable, though. Come on, keep going. Tell me when we're out of the mud. Keep, Yeah, you're going to keep going a little bit more. Maybe just go all the way so then I can unhook and I'll just drive it out. 
Okay, wow, it is definitely muddy. Those tires are gonna have no traction. All right, you're good. I'll disconnect you. There you go, and let's see if this thing drives or if the wheel well's just filled with mud. It doesn't sound oh, the best. Geez. Yeah. All right, which one's next? Next one. We'll start right to left. We'll do this little ranger danger or whatever you call it. Are we good to go? 10 4, good to go. Let her rip. Here she goes. Oh, okay. Oh, I forgot to put it is in it? neutral. I forgot. Oh, yeah. my bad, my bad. <laughs> there we go. That's a lot better. This one isn't spinning as good. The tires, I think they're all packed in with mud. They must have tried pretty hard to get out of here. Yeah, it's still doing better though than it was when it was in park. Oh man, the cables made some weird noise. Is it close? Uh, one more car length and you're good. Yeah, the winch is going to get a workout today. That's for sure. All right, disconnect. Oh, this one's kind of binded up. There we go. What is with this GMC? This thing, the tires are like... In the air? There's, there's just like no tread on anything. Wait, man, this engine's literally still smoking. What, what is up with this? Oh, yeah, I forgot to tell you. So there was one guy here and when I pulled in and he was just hammer, hammer down and thought he could get out of here. So Did he blow his engine? I, actually, I don't know. I left and he was still kind of messing around with things, so maybe. Well, it's not running now, and I don't know if we want to start this thing. Yeah, let's I think see we're here. Have to just drag this thing out. I'll get the winch on here. From where you're positioned, you might be able to spin it around, so. Hopefully, we don't hit that red car. Okay, I'm going to go nice and yep. slow at first. You got yep. it. There we go. It's. I think it's on a bit of a mound because it's kind of spinning like a spinning top. Yeah, it must there be hung go. up in there a little bit. And you're going to clear that red little Jeep thing. You're good. Okay, perfect. We're at a bit of an angle right now, but this is a pretty heavy duty winch. We should be okay. And this should be the heaviest truck. These things are not light. It's probably like 7,000 pounds. Yeah, my only worry though is for some of these next ones, we're going to have to pull them across the mud because there's no way I'm going to be going around here and dragging it out. We're just going to have way too many issues arise. I agree. Do good, boss man. Fast winch it. See if it'll go. Here we go. Oh, geez, that's fast. Yep. Yeah. Okay, here I'm gonna actually try driving back a little. Yeah. Don't try starting this one because it's just I don't want to damage it more than it already is. That guy really messed up. Okay, you're spinning. This thing's heavy. Yeah, it was. It seemed like kind of pop free. It must have been hung up on something. Man, look at my back tires. You're spinning. Go, go, it's, go. It's slowly moving. Here we go. Get her out of there. Yeah, just keep reversing. Watch the sign though. Turn. Yeah. Hey, turn. I'm trying. Don't hit And the this sign. thing is not easy to move around all right what is that three down three to go it looks like it but these okay well the red one should be easy yeah. i'm really worried about these final two white trucks they're just they're really stuck in this mud yep. and big trucks too it looks like this is sunk down all the way to it like this is weight on the floorboards and the frame of it so that's never good to see hopefully you don't rip something you know what worries me with this though look at these tires how could this not get out what do you I mean, they're aggressive tires, but it's buried up to the middle of the rim. Yeah, man. I know, but like that that's the concern with those kind of treads. Not being able to get out of this means they, they must have tried. I got my hands pretty dirty on that one. The hitch was buried in there. Yep. Okay, here. Uh, do you think we're good with space or should I move a bit further? Yeah, good winch. Then you can always reverse out. Okay, here we go. Polar. Okay. It's what the? It's oh, geez. This one's really in here. Yeah, I might bust free. Go, oh. go. Oh, Man, it's literally it's pulling moving me. your Look truck. Oh, gosh. Okay, okay. stop. Uh, reset, reset. Let me jump in. I'm going to try and start it. And this time, I'm going to give you a little nudge here. Let me jump in. All right, boss man. What I'm thinking, yep, the wheels turn, got power steering. Go ahead, start pulling, and I'll give it some gas in reverse. What if I drive back at the same time you are? Okay. Think that'll be good? Yep. Three. Okay. Two, one, go. Here we go. Here she goes. Here she goes. Oh, yeah. She's moving. That's easy. Oh. That's easy. Like a glove. Okay, don't hit me. Don't hit me. Uh, boss man, what if I would go back into the mud? Nobody will know it was in there already. No, no. Man, Boy. man, what are you doing? What are just you doing? Just a little bit. Just a little bit. Oh, I almost got if stuck. You, if you got stuck there, I literally would have just driven away. Okay. If we get all these cars out of here successfully, I get to pull my Chevy in there. 5,500. See if that'll get stuck. That's what I'm curious about. Okay, you know what? That's okay because I think that actually has some potential and we have all sorts of equipment to get that one unstuck. Okay, hurry. Yeah, hurry up. Get these two out and if we pull out all okay, these cars, you can uh, pull out mine. Man, calm down. I, I know you're having fun here, but we got work to do. We got to do this one at a time, treat everyone the same way. Give them the same quality I service. I want to go mud. 
Okay, okay, well, here we go. Let's see if I can get this parking brake on. There we go. That helps so much when I get in here and hit reverse. I'm gonna start fast, Winshin. Yeah, go ahead, man. How's she looking? Everything good? Yeah, I think so. If I just give her some gas, it slips a little bit, but with your winch, keeps me moving. And... Okay, 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 okay. You're disconnected. Now, avoid the mud. Okay, or don't. All right, winch it. Looking good. Here we go. Uh, is it moving? Not too much. Man, this one is really heavy. I wonder why this one's so heavy. This is what they call a wife hauler, boss man. Uh, did you do something? No, I think it's getting in pretty deep mud, man. It's not, I think this is me fast winching. It's not pulling as fast. Is it moving your truck then? No. Uh, it's trying to. I, I My parking brake is locked in place. It must be maxing out the winch because we've had issue. It's still moving over here, but barely. All right, it stopped, it stopped. Uh-oh. My winch isn't making any noise now. Uh, okay, let me see if I can... There's still tension on the cable, right? Yeah, it should be. Here we go, come on. Let's go forward, back. It's not going, I'm trying to rock it. Okay, 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 leave it, leave it, leave it, Sorry. leave it, leave it, leave it. Okay, solution. Let's think, let's think, let's think. What can we do? I could use my 5500, give her a little tap on the front. Uh, do you think it's able to handle it? What's the bumper looking? Mm, that's all plastic. Yeah, it might scratch it up a little bit, but better than being stuck in two foot of mud. Now we'll just very gently hit it, and I'll be reversing at the same time. 10-4. Yeah, this thing plows right through. Oh, sorry. Okay, okay, I said it lightly. Sorry. I got a bumper on, on here. Man. My truck will be just fine. Yeah, exactly. Your truck's fine. Okay, here we Oops. go. Yep. Hear that plastic crunch? Okay, okay, okay. Right, just go. keep going. Go, 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 go. No, man, I need more. I need more. Come on. Okay, sorry. There we are. Go, 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 go. There we go. Okay. This mud ain't no match for the 5500. There you go. You know what? I kind of want to see what the fire truck can do. We do have some trees around if I get stuck. I can just attach to. Yeah, you could, hook, you could hook onto me too and I could pull you right out. Okay. Should I try it? Yeah, man. I'm having no issues. I don't know what these people are talking about, but I'm spitting up a lot of mud. That's for sure. Okay. Your tires are a little bit different than theirs. Yeah, these are like military grade. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, geez. Um... This might have been a bad idea. Boss, man. Come on. No, no, we're still moving. Kind of. Not really. We got this. We got this. Rule we're number good. one, never let go of the throttle. Keep her moving. Once you stop, you stop. I have not, I've not stopped, man. Look at this. So much mud flinging up. We're going to have to go to the car wash we go. after this. Oh, oh, oh. I'm getting some speed. I want to do some donuts. Come on. Boss, man, stuck. Oh, boss, man. You got oh. stuck. Loser, okay, loser. Wait, wait, wait. Let's try this. Try this. Try. No. Okay. I don't think there's trees close enough for you to hook onto. You're in a bad spot, but you could attach to me. Okay, let's try it. Let's see what your truck can do. Here we go, floor it. Go, I popped oh. you out. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Keep it going, keep it going, don't stop, don't stop. We need the momentum. Oh, I don't like that sound. We're good, we're good. There we go. Okay. All right, check this out, guys. New listing came online. I think that's a good deal. Boss man, boss man, come in here. What's up, man? J I just got an email notification. New listing of foreclosure right down the road. Storage units. I'll send you a link. Okay. Do uh, you want to check it out? Yeah, or? yeah, I got the address. I think this is a really good deal, so we should get moving. It's on the other side of the river. Go through town. I'll tell you when to hang right. It's not too far from here, so it's like, I don't know. I got to count them, like 15, 12, 12 different units i forget how big they are but anyway it's a foreclosure which means the previous owner couldn't pay their payments for the loan and now the bank took ownership of it and they're trying to sell it typically they sell it at a pretty big discount so i think we're gonna get get a good deal on it let's kind of poke around and see what it's like all right hang a right hang a right it's behind these buildings it's kind of in the trees a bit uh, man all i see is bushes yeah this is pretty thick good thing you're wearing long sleeves i'm not jump through here here we go go okay yeah, definitely not a day you want to wear shorts oh there's what something in... pretty nice in there man it says police huh okay oh what this one's got? open oh, okay nothing there's nothing in here so this is kind of what it looks like oh but there's windows there's windows yes there do are. you see anything okay i see uh tractor weights over there nothing's in the one next to it interesting okay so not much money so far the i can see let's keep looking man there's a tractor Nice. Yeah, so my idea, boss man, and I think you're on the same page, is we're going to buy this, we're going to clean it up, and then hopefully there's some pretty, you know, valuable things in these storage units that people have forgotten about over the years and the owner didn't take with them. Well, that has something. That's got a, like an old of... cop car. It's like an old car. Wait, okay, so we had one vehicle that said police. Yep. This one is definitely a cop car of some sort. I am liking the signs of this. 
Like that's that's quite a bit of money already that we've seen. Yep, nothing and in this one. There's so many. Oh, okay, okay. There's so many other ones that we can't even look in. Man, I'm thinking. Let's 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 buy it, man. What are they asking, actually? Before I get ahead of myself, they're asking two hundred grand. So it's listed for two hundred thousand. Hey, hey, that's oh, it's five no. acres. Five acres. Oh, it is? These buildings. Oh. Um, I didn't know it was five acres. Anything, anything with it. So five acres. Okay, now now we're talking. I, I thought it was only like two acres here, but five sounds a little bit better. Yeah. And obviously, too, if we get this up and running, we can have money get generated yes like it, it's not like we're just gonna have these empty obviously like we have to be able to talk them down from 200,000 yep. if we could do I don't know 75,000 each it's so like okay. 150 total 150, that's kind of your highest uh, that, that sounds pretty good I think we can get them down there obviously if yeah. we can go lower do it but yeah if it's a little higher than that it's not the end of the world but you know let's try getting a good deal here but also let's not risk them just denying us and not taking any offers all right, man, put your game face on. Let's go. I'll be good cop. You be bad cop. Okay, sounds good. Let's do this. Man, are you happy with the deal? I'm pretty happy. So we, we ended up, we actually paid our top dollar, which isn't the best, but we each are going to pay 75000 So that means $150,000 purchase price. Boss man, before we go down there, we need to get some tools. I want to get some sludge hammers, some lock picks, and some bolt cutters, because we're going to get those garage doors open. Okay, uh, yeah, I guess... There's no chance they're just going to open easily. We're going to have to pry those things. All right, boss man, let's go. It feels weird that you're driving my truck and I'm driving your truck. That's all right. I'm a little better driver, so it's good I haul the skids here. All right, you got the bolt cutters. Just cut that lock. There we go. Nice. He's got it open. What's in there? Oh, oh there's something. Okay. Some boxes. Um, These are empty boxes. All right, check. How do you know they're empty? Check them. Okay, they're empty. Never I mind. checked two of them. Uh, What is this? Some... Pro, uh, some sort of gas liquid in a bottle there, postcard Man, holder thing. There are old banana peels in these bins back here. Oh, yeah, that is kind of gross. Yeah, that's... Wheel no, barrel. thank you. Okay, well, hey, we checked it. Uh, we could sell that 20, 50 bucks or something. You know, there's a table back there. We could we could make a couple hundred bucks off that stuff. So. Come on, baby. Mom needs a new pair of shoes. Uh, that's a snowman. Snowman, okay, okay. Hey, you can sell those 50, snowman. 60 bucks easy online. All the tables, yeah. Tables, so that for hundred. Whatever this thing is, storage bin. Okay, you might be pricing these a little high, but sure. All okay. right, all right, all right. Storage number Check one, next one, sold it for a hundred. Let's say storage number two, we'll go another hundred as well. So we're 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 up two hundred bucks. Oh, there we go. Some ice cream machines. We could actually use those. Another table. These chairs are pretty junk. Hey, but... there's actually ice cream in there. Yeah, I'm assuming that stuff's melted. Yep. You got a little. Is that electric lawnmower? That is maybe i think so okay well we'll save 500 bucks right there those two two machines if they're running that's good all right let's start opening up these ones we know are gonna be good like this one here we saw police yes this has to be good a little disappointing on those but at least it's not totally trashed and okay what is this is this uh it's a case or it's a new hall in 332 a police skid here never have i what? ever seen this man what do they even do with this? This kid's here as loan is worth like 50 grand, especially if it has low hours. Yeah, it would be funny if we start using this at our V park. People are like, oh, oh, the police are here. Nope, just us. Let's open this one. This one's easy. Okay. Oh, there's rust. Oh, what? A Chevy man. Impala. This is like that... your old car, boss man. Remember the blue one? I call it. I'm keeping this. We aren't selling this. Oh, uh, no happened? way we're selling what this. What happened to your old blue there's car? There's no way. There's no way. Uh, yeah, uh, what happened to it, man? I feel like somebody may have told somebody that they can just drive it away. And then somebody went to jail. And then somebody named Bossman lost their car. This is mine. Okay, you know what? Fair. Lift. Ah, okay. Oh. Golf cart. These look. Wait, are these the same style of uh, new ones? Well, I think these are like the club cars. These are like the most generic golf carts. They don't have the canopies on top. But if they run, those are our. I would say to get this one's at least worth a, a few grand. This one's one or two grand if it's, it looks like good condition. I'm a fan. So we'll say $4,000 on that one. Pretty good deal. Come on, baby. Oh, yeah. Who just leaves Whoa, all this nice what? stuff behind? I'm like so confused. How did this place just lose business and why did everyone just leave this stuff? Like, what, did, were they not allowed to come back and collect? I have no idea. These are nice. No idea. I'm going to add keys are in it. Let's start it up. Come on, baby. Heck yeah. We'll just say 
I mean, it's such good condition. We'll be conservative. Say that's 20 grand. Okay. Here, you know what, man? All this money you get to keep as long as I get to keep that Impala. Deal. All and right. then we'll split the rental once we get this place cleaned up. Hey, look at this. It's hey. Dang it. How much are bales worth? Wait, wait, what? wait, 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 wait. Hold up. Move these bales. Help me move Here. this. I just jumped. These are saw huge. Something. Oh, man. another another Jeep. It's like the same style, but it's hard to get cooler. in there. Here, come on, move this baby. It's so heavy. I wonder why they put hay bales in front. Maybe they didn't want people knowing what's in here. Wow. Okay, does this one start? Jump in, see. It's got the keys. There you go. Next one, I'll get it open. Oh, finally, you're doing some work. I like it. This one's got bushes growing through it. Oh, oh empty. Yeah. And okay. Empty. Couple strikeouts. That's okay. I'm not not a fan of those this last one, two. This one had something in it. Yep. Yep. Oh. Look at this thing. What the heck? Well, okay, wait. Why did they make it these colors? I don't know. You're saying someone was pulled over by this thing? Maybe this was like a show car. There's no way that it could have been in actually... like a movie or something too. Yeah, it's a Chevy Capri. They used to have these, but yeah, the paint job's a little weird. Still Trunks worth something empty. though, boss man. Oh, for sure. The truck's empty. Let's see if there's actually an engine in here. We'll just say uh, ten grand. It's worth ten grand. Okay. On to the next one. We got this tractor with it too. I got to look online. I was gonna do that when we drove over. Thirty-three eighty-eight case. It's like one of the first more like articulating real crop tractors. This is pretty interesting. You know what? What if we go get this thing appraised? Yeah, absolutely. I think these are pretty rare. All right, let's open this one up. There's a tree in my way. Ooh. Trailer. Wow. I wouldn't have We've suspected been needing this. one of these. Wait, wait. We should probably keep this thing, man. We don't have a trailer that your truck can pull. Empty. Dang it. Oh, How many left? Okay. This one's uh, empty. I think one just left. One boss, more. Man. Just one left. Here we Please go. be good. Oh yeah, the oh. tractor weights. Forgot. Yep. Okay. But those, well, those are worth probably a thousand bucks, five hundred each at least. These are the three point one, so pretty expensive. Let's start cleaning up these bushes, making the place presentable, and we can get this stuff out of here and sold. Yeah, and we, remember, we have to get that thing appraised before the end of the day. Yes, that's right. That's right for sure. All right, we got that one sold. Somebody came and picked it up, sweeped it out. Should be good to go from there. Garage door still works just fine. Sprayed a little WD-40 on the rails, and I think that storage unit is done and ready to rent out. Boss man's pulling around the trailer, and that means I gotta get this thing started. There wasn't a key in it. I couldn't find a key. The door is unlocked. Let's see, this cab is immaculate. I think we're gonna get a pretty penny out of this thing. Stick those two wires together, hit the ether button, crank it, come on. There we go. All right, let's see. Put the clutch in, and there we go. It's taken off. Steering seems fine. I've not driven a tractor like this before. These are pretty cool. Are you working the deal, or am I? Uh, I can do it. I'll probably get a better number than you. Oh, You're you wearing think some so? weird hat. Yeah, get get out of there, man. Oh, boss man's coming out. Spencer. That didn't take too long. No, it did not. Okay, I got thirty-five. Thirty. Good. All right. I think that's fair. I think we got a pretty penny. Well, now the goal is sell absolutely everything on here, except nothing less than what I have listed. And from there, we're going to clean them, rent them out, pretty up a few things. I got to get that sump grinder down here. I forgot about that. Make a driveway, some signs, and get this place listed and ready to rent out. Boss man, boss man, get out of the way. I can't stop. What? What the? What the heck? Sump grinder's man. coming through, man. Man, you need to warn me long before you turn that thing on. Oh. Jeez, I, I guess I couldn't control it. No, I'm joking. Just wanted to scare you, but we got a big work day. I'm already starting. What are you doing? Uh, I was just admiring the stump, honestly. It, it looks kind of cool. Well, it's going you're away. ruining it. Okay. Call the concrete boys. We need them down here in at least an hour. I should have them ready. And we're going to get, well, actually, what do you want to do, boss man? Concrete or rock? It is a tough decision. Here, we'll think about that when you're dealing with this stump over here. Okay, here are our pros and cons. Yep. Concrete's going to be expensive. Agree. But it's pretty much hassle-free for quite a few years. Yep, and it's smooth, and people, are, customers are really going to like it. Maybe we can charge a little more. Yeah, and then when it comes to rocks, obviously way easier to get down, but then, you know, snowplow comes in the winter. True. And messes everything up. I think we're going to have to do rocks, boss man. I think we're going to have to keep our rental units low price. Otherwise, we might not be able to sell them all out. So let's just keep things low. I don't think it matters that much. 
especially for our customers. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get some gravel in here. Hey Spencer, get this one once I'm done cutting it. All right, just don't drop it on the buildings, man. No, oh, we should be fine. I've done this a few times in my life. Yeah, you've dropped it on the buildings a few times in your life. Timber. That was actually pretty good, man. I left a little sliver. You want it? Yeah, you can keep it as a souvenir. Is this how you clean your bedroom? Just push it out of the way? Pretty much. I'm thinking, since you're such a good builder, and we have we, we still have quite a few acres that aren't being utilized here, I was thinking we could extend out these buildings, build some more, build some on the back side of this, and then we gotta make an entrance too. We own all the way to right, right here. Kind of just this tree line all the way back and then to where that tree line starts, so. Okay, what if we place our entrance here? Yeah. And then it just kind of, you know, we, we're obviously not going to fill in all this land with different structures, but in the meantime, we, you know, we at least give ourselves the ability to expand out to whichever way we choose. Absolutely. Yeah. For right now, I, I don't think we're going to be using all this land, but yes, yes. In the future, let's plan entrance somewhat on, what would this be? The far east side? No, the far north side. Through, we'll build a little culvert through here, driveway, and and then start adding some more units in here. Before we get to work, I need you to do something for me. We have a few things still sitting in here, just the two things we're keeping, which is the red car. Yep. Oh, man, I love this thing. How come you haven't got Look it out it. of here yet? Took her on a joyride last night. Well, you know what? I just, I love the pristine condition. It has some nice old fuel in it. Really good for the tank, right? Yeah, you should probably pump that out. Yeah, I definitely should. Anyways, we also have this trailer over here. And what if you use my truck or your truck, either or, load the car up on the trailer and just drop those off at our RV park? Yep, will do. Spencer, you forgot the car. Slow oh, down. My bad, my bad. Totally forgot. And this is the angle you're going to be working with? Ah, oh, jeez. Yeah, yeah, that's actually a... Holy biscuits, those ramps are strong. Here you go. Nice and straight, man. Come on, she's running good. I hope this thing doesn't bottom out. Oh, 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 okay. Tell me when. I go. can't see anything. Yeah, you're good, you're good, you're oh, good, you're good, you're good, you're good. Right here? Yeah, that works. There we go. All right. Nice, safe drive down there, man. Don't scratch this thing up. 10 4 whoa. You have one set of tires oh, on wait. the ground. I, I think oh, I've got no. something. Oh, okay. Spencer? Sorry, Vic Cat. Do I need to get the skids here to flip you over? I got it. Watch this. Watch this. This truck is made to flip. There we go. Okay. Oh, okay. Mm, yeah, it is made to flip. What is happening with your suspension, man? Uh, Can you explain? It's that's the off road. So like you click a button and it's got a lot of flex in it. So I just need to unclick mm. the button. There we go. We're all better now, boss man. No need to worry. Looks like the gravel guys are here. They're spreading out some gravel. I'm guessing that's that's quite a bit there. They got a cool side dump. That's awesome. Look at that. And they're heading out. We got a lot of work to do to get spreading. They have made this maybe like a little bit flatter for me. Nah, you'll get it. Well, this turned out pretty good, boss man. I'm happy with it. Yes, sir. I am too. Got all the rock down. Yes, sir. Turned out pretty good. Glad we went with this over concrete. Yeah. Good deal. Good deal. And what do you say we kind of start building? Maybe start. I was kind of thinking to save space. We would, you know, butt these backs up to each other, if that makes sense. Boss man, toss me up another nail. I'm finishing this last roof piece. Here you go. Thanks. I got electricity working in here. Oh, nice. Good work. That's one, two, three, four, five. And then we added one more here to make it symmetrical. So these are sets of five. So we're at 21, right? 21? 21 buildings? Yeah. I don't know. That's too much math. 21 units. But let's keep working, man. We need to add more of these. I want this thing to get filled up. Yep. Let's keep going. And what were you thinking for the entrance? I've been just debating in my head. Do I we know. do... Do we do it's a like, gate? It's a tough one, man. Do we do... We want some sort of office building to do paperwork, to have somebody here on site. What if we have a really big garage and with doors front and back and they drive through to get in the place? Then, like, you know, at night we can close off everything. We have our interior so we can, you know, yeah. like, be safe from the like weather and stuff and kind of covers everything. But obviously it's going to have to be a pretty big structure to ensure everyone's going to have no problem getting in and out. Okay. Yeah, I. that's a really unique idea. I haven't seen it done before, but it would probably be probably have to be a really wide door. Like a 60 by like 80 building mainly needs to be wide. Yeah, it's it's gonna have to be a really really wide one. So let's let's 
get a belt, man. If you're if you're down to spend okay. money with me, we'll add up these totals at the end because this has been an expensive day. All right, I'm with you. I agree. Let's do something like that. They'll be that'll be cool. Well, an update on the progress. Bossman and I have been working our booties off. I think we're about out of diesel in the skid here. He's been working so hard, but we added 15 storage units today, so we're all the way up to 30 units. And I think we're pretty happy with it, especially right now. I added this row of four. We added a few more onto there, and things are working, looking really good. But boss man, show us around. He did all this work. Yep. So I actually have a bit of a mess right now, but I wanted to throw a bunch of tools here in case people need any. Obviously, this would be the most convenient option. So yeah, just pretty basic, nothing too crazy, but they'll come in through here. We obviously have our big garage doors. Makes sense. Yeah. And entrance is, I wanted it a little wider, but I, I think it's totally perfect. We can always obviously remove some of these panels and get a new door, but this should be good. I don't expect and anything too crazy. Think about it like this. We don't want people pulling in huge trailers. If you literally can't fit through this door, you probably can't get around the storage unit. And I don't know what the heck somebody's bringing in to store if they can't make it through this well, door. Exactly. Like our storage units aren't that big, yeah. especially when it comes to like height. For so sure. it's like we, we must be OK. But this is really nice because we have like air compressors here and stuff. So if, like people need tools or like are working on something, they can come into here. So we might charge them a little extra for that, like kind of convenience. Or that just might make everybody come here instead of competitors. Yeah, honestly, I, I think our pricing with 100 is pretty good. If we find that we just sell out real quick, then, you know, the next month we could do like 125. Yeah, and while you were finishing this, I took pictures of what we've done today and then like a really detailed picture of one of the units, put it up on Facebook, and then I created a website too. So we're officially now going to be taking on customers. Awesome. I'm looking forward to this, man. It's going to be nice to get some money from this. And speaking of which, you actually owe me some money because I've been paying for all this stuff and... Man, my, my pocket's feeling a little empty. All right, I gotta grab my checkbook out of the truck. You give me that total. All right, what do you got, big cat? 75 grand. Oh, that I know, I know. There's no easy way to say it. I just wanted to say it straight up as it is. So there you go. Thank you. I appreciate it. And hey, again, we should be making our money back here, hopefully, at some point. Like, some of these units are gonna be rented out for like years at a time. Yeah, absolutely. Which, should be good. Now, are we going to stick monthly, like, so it's kind of like a subscription service almost? I think so. I think so. We're going to do subscription at first. We're going to do 100 bucks, And then another thing, too, boss man, is, like, if we ever want to sell this, we absolutely increase the value of this property by, like, double. So, super cool. Oh, yeah. There was some just run-down place before. The ground wasn't even. Like, we've really helped it out. Let's get this last connection made. There we go. Garage door should be working. Oh, howdy, sir. Oh, you're looking for a storage unit? Oh my goodness, man, you're the first customer. Technically, we aren't open, but uh, I'm sure my business partner won't mind. Okay, go ahead, pull in. I'll get you situated. Oh, this is our first customer coming in. This is awesome. Back it up. Oh, looking good, man. Looking good. You got plenty of room. Keep coming. All right, you're good. You're in. Okay, here you go. Door's coming down. That's the lock. That is the code to get in. It will be $100, please, for the first month. Perfect. Thank you. Shake on it. You're the first customer. Congratulations. This is awesome. All right. Where was I? I got to get back up here and make this last connection. He said he just saw us driving by and needed a place to store his truck and whatever he had in the back. Howdy, sir. You looking for a storage unit? Yep, we got you. They aren't climate controlled. Okay, no worries. How did you hear about us? Oh, you, you saw my website? Awesome. All right. I got keys for this one. I thought, let's go ahead and fill out these four here first. These are ready to go. All right, he's backing up. Sounds like he's got just some stuff in the driller he wants to store long term. Dang, he's pretty good at backing up. Here we go. All right, sir, that's it. That's it. That's it. Side of it up. Uh, actually, maybe pull forward if you're wanting to drop that door. I'll just need $100 from you. And here are your keys, sir. And you are unit number three. Today is a super exciting day. And in 30 seconds, you guys are going to see something crazy. Bossman and I haven't even seen it yet. Just pictures. A billionaire who used to live in town grew up in town. His family got caught in a, in a house fire and he was saved by the volunteer fire department. This is years ago, 20 years ago. And now he's all grown up and he became a billionaire. And to show his appreciation, he just donated all these fire trucks to our volunteers fire station, which is super awesome. And then Bossman said something about he's raising enough money to get us a new station. This is crazy, boss man. Way more than I thought. Yeah, man. And look at how shiny and new these are. I think oh. every single one's new. There might be like one that has, you know, like 10,000 miles on it. Whatever. Who cares? 
Well, man, we have a lot of work ahead of us because all of these need to be brought down to the station because right now the station is not operational. And, well, that's not good because what if there's a fire? Exactly. Let's get them down there. We got rid of all the old ones, replacing them with the new. Taking rescue 11 or 10? Yes, sir. Taking rescue 10. This thing is a behemoth. It's pretty cool. It's got a bunch of cameras. You can see in the back here when we're transporting somebody how they're doing. Oxygen tanks back there. A backup camera. That is super high quality, pretty awesome. Turn on the lights, oh, that's cool. There's a bunch of buttons in here. This is way above my pay grade. I gotta spend a couple days learning all this. The old equipment we had was so much more run down. I mean, it, I got used to it and stuff, but this is gonna be a nice upgrade and we should be able to, you know, better serve the community. Boss man, you think this thing's gonna fit? It's gonna be a close one, be careful. All right, 10-4. Well, obviously you guys see we only, we have seven stalls here. I don't even think a lot of equipment's gonna fit in the smaller ones. So we're gonna bring it all down here for now. And then hopefully the fire station gets done built today and we will bring the new equipment down there let's keep driving boss man this is gonna take a while all right let's uh run there yeah i think we'll just run that way we get a really right, good workout go. oh you're already going so now this is a tandem axle ladder truck this thing is long i don't think this is gonna fit in our current fire station's garage doors but that's fine we'll just park it outside go ahead boss man all right he's got the, the tanker, tanker down yeah that thing's awesome what do you guys want to see as firefighters should we you know kind of focus on more accidents you know actual building fires and stuff i'll try and get more shifts more recordings on shifts but it's always good when it's slow and there aren't too many accidents because that means nobody got hurt uh yeah boss man this thing ain't gonna fit yeah i didn't think so just park it at the side it should be fine there awesome this thing is a beast we got a quite a few more vehicles than our current fire station is pretty much filled up yeah, man, look at these. Like, all of these vehicles can do so much more than our old ones. Like, each one individually. Some of these have, like, paramedic equipment. We had nothing like that hey, 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 previously. Give us a, you'll give us a tour when we get them all down here, okay? We got to get to work okay. first. Okay, let's keep going. We're going to go on a two-mile run again. Come on, boss man. You got to be quicker than that. Ah, uh, man, I was keeping up. Back her up. Big cat's coming through. I just got a call from Fire Chief. They said they got the new fire station done. It, wait, it's done? I... I thought they needed our help. They already built it. Yeah, I guess so, man. You would have really oh, helped them, though. Okay. I would have. I would have. I could have done so much. Okay. Well, hopefully they did a good job. Anyway, the, the last two trucks we got to bring down, we're just going to drive them straight to the new station, okay? Okay. Sounds good. I'm looking forward to it. Here we go, boss man. You excited? Oh, man. I am so excited. Who's leading? Last one there's a rotten egg. This time it's a race. Oh, okay. My lights are going on then. All right. Same here. Rescue nine. Going, yeah, this is good. this will be a great test drive. This will determine, boss man, when we get a call, who gets the drive. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Also, we usually, okay. Move it or lose it. Turn. Yeah, have fun in we the got ditch. It. No, we got it. We got it. I, I snowmobile oh, in these yeah. ditches during the winter. I know them like the back of my hand. When we're really in a rush and you got to make things happen, I'm your guy. There we go. See you later. Slow and steady wins the race. You might be right, but. You know this, man. People want to see. People want to see you working. People want to see you trying to go faster. I'm, I'm pressing the pedal down as far as it goes. I'll get you. These things, I will say, do take a bit of time to get up to speed. All gas, no brakes. See if we can hold this corner. Oh, we're getting squirrely. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, jeez. Spencer, where are you? Are you in my dust? I'm testing out these vehicles and making sure they're up to snuff. I don't want anybody crashing in them. Well, guess what? I have one. I'm at the station. Dang it. All right. Maybe slow and steady oh. was the way to go. Wild West County Fire Department. Check this out. First off, on the exterior, I love the brick, love the design, looks really good, nice red doors. Like, look at these light bulbs. Everything is, like, kind of old school. And they got this fence here, so it looks really clean. Okay, coming in, boss, man, this thing. It's already got all the uniforms. Yes, sir, it's stocked up. Look at these, like, the grounds here. It's so modern, so sleek, so fresh, no oil stains, nothing. Nice, Wild West fire department. We got washer and dryer, so... If boss man pees his pants because he got scared, then what? you just toss it right in there? No, I don't do that. Sometimes Only, you do. It's happened just one time, man. One time. Hey, hey, the best thing right here. These these kind of like, uh, you know, kind of rough duty sinks. These are super nice. Check it out, man. Nice kitchen. What's that? Oh, the bunk room. Okay, I like it. Are you a top or bottom bunk kind of guy? I, uh, I top, top, for sure. Top, top. Oh, yeah. Okay, so what here you got a pole here. to slide down if the alarms go off. A little kitchenette. That looks nice. Man, we got a TV in here. Sweet. I like it. What is this door? Oh, just like a quick way down? Yeah, probably escape route. Yeah, makes sense. Fire escape. <laughs> Get it? That's right. Get it? Fire station, fire escape. Pretty funny. 
Okay, man, come back up. We gotta try the pole. Aqua replenishment. Interesting. Yes, we gotta try the pole. Last one there. Slide over the table. I'm down. Beat ya. There we go. That's a sleek pole. I like it. Okay, let's get these trucks backed up in here. Yes, sir. Now, these, we have plenty of room to put a ladder truck in here. But for now, just these two trucks. And boss me that, before we put them in here, give me a tour of them. Let's show these trucks off. We actually might go to the old fire station, too. If you guys are interested in these trucks, boss man's going to show you. Open it up side compartment. We got a bunch of adapters for hoses. So if you need more hoses in different spots and then cones, what else? He's opening up fire extinguishers. Yes, sir. Lots of scene lights too. And then over here, rescue, rescue nine. Rescue nine. This is one of my favorites. Oh, biscuits and gravy. Yes, That's a lot sir. of storage. Oh yeah. Check that out. It's got all these super nice compartments to store all your tools and everything. Concrete saws. Those come in handy. The jaws of life. Check that out. Super cool. Yeah, man, this thing is stocked up brand new equipment, but honestly, let's get these things parked because the other station has cooler equipment. I agree. I agree. Let's get these parked and we will be getting more fire trucks for the station. Just right now, they're on back order. I think we're going to request uh, an even longer ladder truck if we can get that. And we have one apart, plenty of parking on the side. So where we're at actually is super close to the RV park. You can't see it from here, but it's just right over there. Here's the used car dealership. So we're on the other side of town from the other fire station. That way we can respond a bit quicker. Here we go. Back it up. Check that out. I love it, man. Oh, I didn't even see the American nice. flag. That's awesome. Very, very cool. Okay. Uh, I guess we're going to run. We really should get some kind of like little get, bike Like a little go-kart or like, yeah, electric bike. Oh, okay. Let me catch my breath. You're here. You start showing these things, man. Yep. Here's the tandem axle fire truck, and this is paramedic ready too. So it has a bunch of paramedic equipment, which is always super important. These are Pierce fire engines. Boss man's firing it up. Here come down the supports. These things are beefy. I think this can do like 10 stories, maybe 12 stories once he extends it all the way. I'm not, I'm not too sure. I'd have to look into it. Okay. Probably a bit higher. I'm climbing up boss man. Don't move it too fast. There we go. Look at the view. I'm up pretty high. I would say, I would say this would be pushing 10 stories, but we don't have any 10 story buildings around here, but it's nice to have this, this big equipment, especially if the neighbors, neighboring counties need the help. This is our special unit paramedic. So this is going to have all the paramedic equipment. We'll always try and bring this with us as well as all the tools and stuff. So if an ambulance can't get to where we're at and we need to get somebody moving right away, we will, we'll use this pretty cool. Look at these scene lights, man. These things are bright. Heck yeah. Yeah, you can adjust them in there with the control of a button. That's pretty sweet. It's got a winch on the front. Oh, I didn't see that at first. That's nice. You guys are probably wondering how you can get these fire truck mods in the fire station. They're from the GMYK Patreon page. But here's the tanker. This looks really good. It's got a really nice ladder on the side. Quick access. Super clean. Super cool. I, what is it? 1,500 or 1,000 gallon? I think it's over 1,000. All right. Very good. We should only hopefully ever ever need that much. Check out this beauty. Heck yeah, that's pretty awesome. Now this thing has a really special light on the top. Oh, you got like these scene lights? Wow. Yes, Pass through sir. storage, more jaws of life with the air connection there. But I think, yeah, boss man, just, yeah, those flip up. That's pretty nice. Yes, sir. Look at that thing. Rotates Holy all biscuits. around. You could, it's like the sun out here. Oh, I know. Saying there was an option when we got these to get two of these lights on it. Like, what would you need that for? I actually think, what is this, Rescue 10? Or oh, Re yeah, that Rescue might... 1 has two of them. Yep, I see them now. Why do we need this many pylons? Uh, you never know. You're on the side of the interstate, boss, man. It's heavy traffic. Look at this thing. It's so we well laid out. Chainsaws, more units. And then, yes, you can ride in the back here. So it's got, like, oxygen tanks and stuff, and you can bring a whole crew in. Here she comes. I like the looks of this truck, an old freight liner. And check this out. Look at those lights. Nice. Very nice. Bunch of storage in here. Obviously, hoses, everything. And then this is Collapse Rescue 1. So this is specializing in a building collapse of any sort. So even more lights up top, even more storage and tools. These are some pretty awesome trucks. Look at that. Bossman's unfolding the lights. Oh, my goodness. These are going to be bright. Yep. And there's like 28 buttons for these lights. Yeah, we got to figure out the buttons. That is on the top of our to-do list. We can't run these things. Bossman's kind of an expert in it, but look at all this. They're all unfolded. And all the lights are on. We should have a parade. I think we let the grass grow a little too long. So it's my job. I'm going to get this mowed down here. Oh, dang, that's a nice Porsche. Oh, my goodness. What day is today? Oh, they're pulling into the RV. Yep, yep. 
No, I totally forgot. I got a meeting to meet with somebody, a, a buyer. Oh, okay. What am I? I'm in jeans, a sleeves. I'm smelly. I smell like grass. Boss man, boss man, this is Spencer. Where are you right now? I'm shopping for clothes. What's up? Shopping for clothes. How far away are you? Uh, I'm out of town. I found this really nice place. It's about an hour away. Oh, Why? Okay. Well, I just got off the mower. I was mowing around the pool and totally forgot I'm supposed to meet a potential buyer. They're trying to buy one of the mobile homes and I smell like grass. I've been okay, sweating all day. Okay, well, why are you talking to me then? Okay, I'll just jump in the I, pool. I can't get them, man. You need you okay. need to you okay. need to deal with this. All right. Hopefully they're, they're chill with it, but I smell like a pig. Hi, ma'am. My name's Spencer. I'm here to meet you. This is what's for sale. Beautiful car, by the way. And sorry, I was doing chores around here, mowing. We've just been busy. Go ahead, here are the keys, unlock it, go inside, give yourself a little tour, and I will, uh, I don't want to stink you up in there. Well, guys, she seems really interested, and it seems like everybody that's buying these has got really nice cars. I'm going to wash my face off real quick. She's calling her husband, and she wants to talk it over with them. I said there's quite a bit of people that are interested. She's the first one to look at it, though. All right, shake on it. Congratulations, it's yours. I'll rip this for sale sign out, and, okay, you got the money in the trunk? Oh, jeez. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. And welcome, welcome to your new home. All right, ma'am. Here's the keys of the golf cart. Enjoy. It's all yours. All right, boss man. Quit clothes shopping. Get down here. I'm going to finish mowing. I need you down here in about 30 minutes. We got some big work to do. I'll tell you about it once you get here. Okay, okay. Uh, I'll drive fast, I guess. All right, hurry up. Rain's coming in the forecast. We need to keep moving on this. Dang it. It started raining. I told boss man rain was in the forecast. Shut this off. The mower's going to plug up anyway. I'm going to drive to my truck. He better be here soon. We can't have this rain in for too long because it's going to be an issue for what we got planned later today. All right, screw it. Just park the mower there. We need to get working. I'm going to run to my truck. I, yes, I have the right hitch on there. We should be good. What we're doing today is we are going to buy two more mobile homes because we've, we've bought four. And now that we sold the one today, we have none left. And the guy who sells them to us texted me last night and was like, hey, get a new shipment, 50% off. So we're going down there to pick them up, but we have to pick them up today. So this rain isn't good. Boss man, don't even park it. Just turn around. We're heading out, going to grab two mobile homes. What? Uh, okay. Are we using your truck or mine? Both. Oh, I guess you said two. Okay, yeah, let's do it. And there's the beautiful new fire station looking good as always. Nice. Water's flowing good on the property too. So no drainage issues there. Boss man, why are you standing still? Um, you'll see. Oh my goodness. I The, the owner, the guy who owns this and sells these to, to me, I, I told him how money it was. He's like, oh yeah, I'll get rocked down like next week. Well, it's yeah, like a month yeah. later. Mm, there's no rock, man. This is straight mud. Like th this is the definition. Of, this could be our mud park. Yeah, we should just buy this place. Seems like it's a, literally a pond. But the good deal is, boss man, I don't know if I told you, these are half price. They're half price? He's getting a Seriously? new shipment in and he needs these gone ASAP. Okay, man, I'm glad I have these tires, but what the heck is this? I got my mud boots on. Come on. Yeah. Man, there's so much mud. Your, like, drive shaft is, like, spinning in the mud. Uh, this feels so weird. It feels like I'm right on Right there. Skate. Oh, that's a deep spot. Your whole entire axle got buried there. Jeez. Okay, okay. Here, line me up. There, uh, yeah, you're way off. Go forward and to the left. Well, forward to Aww. the right and then reverse to the left. You got it. Yep. I get it. Back. I get it. We got boss man attached. Let's, uh, let's see if you can pull through it here. Okay. Here, wait, 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 first off, which truck do you think is going to do better? Yours or mine? I don't know. I don't want to do both at the same time in case we both get stuck. Well, that is a good point. I feel like my truck with these dualies being low down, like it's, you know, I, I your got tires. less air resistance, but your truck, I, I don't know. It's pretty your, mean too. Here your, we go. Your tire is pretty crazy, but floor it. Are you flooring it? No, He's flooring I, it. This is me flooring it. Come on. Maybe Come I'll on. push. I'll push. I'll push. Go, go, Come go. Come on. Okay, come on, come on. Oh, these tires. Truck, what are you doing? I feel like my my like anti-slip stuff's just going off the Yeah, make sure your right diff now. is locked. Can you lock the diff in it? No, the button's Floor not it. working, man. Floor it. What the heck? Oh, you're um, digging a hole. Stop, 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 stop. You're digging a hole. Man. You're buried. I think I messed up. Look at that rear wheel. Dude, your rims are screwed. How are we going to get out of this? You're deep enough. Like, the, the trailer is... It's when, I think it's when the trailer got in the mud, obviously. That started to weigh you down. Hmm. I'm pretty much bottoming out this front, too. I didn't even realize that. Ah, oh, dude. What are we going to do? This isn't good. Boss, man, you This forgot. is a lot of weight. This is all your fault, dude. You were late. How is this my fault? You went clothes shopping. You didn't even tell me. Well, I didn't tell you we were doing this today, I guess, so. 
Yeah, I had no oh. clue about this. I thought I had the day off. You're lucky I even came back. Plan is, I get a spare tire in the back. I'm gonna come behind you. I have a really nice bumper, and we're gonna put a tire in between the front of my truck and the Man, back of the trailer. We just got this thing. Why? It's half off. It, it's yeah, worth it. Yeah, and damages. we're gonna rip half of it off. You're right. True. Dude, we're selling these for 600 a pop. Each of us, me, Steve, and Boss Man, we all get 200 grand. So making these half off, we're, we're going to make a lot more money. All right, Boss Man, tires in position. I'm behind you. Okay, here we go. Ready? Ready? Three, two, one, go. Oh, geez, just a little tap. Got you going. All right, uh -oh, you're uh -oh, on your own. Uh-oh, I'm losing steering, man. What the heck's going on? I pushed you maybe a little too hard at first there. All right, I'm coming in. I'm pushing, 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 pushing. I'm pushing, man. I'm pushing. Come on. Uh. I'm spinning. Are you this sure is good. Yes, I'm pushing and I'm digging a hole. I'm stopping. Stop, stop, stop. Okay. This now isn't what? good. I'm buried. I am too. Wait, didn't um, we get that new fire truck with the winch? Oh, at the new station. You're right. We yeah. do have that. Do you think that would probably do it? That's a heavy duty winch. We need to put a winch on some of our trucks. I know, I know. Okay, uh. Are we really gonna have to call the fire department? I guess we can just go down. How are yeah. we gonna get there? A we'll, 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 we'll walk of misery. We deserve okay. it. Let's do it. Well, boss man, look on the bright side. It quit raining and we got our exercise in for the day. That is true. Okay, here we are. I am soaked, man. Well, here's a fire truck. Luckily, wait, where even are the firefighters on shift? It must be upstairs playing with the new Xbox. Let me, let me check the computer. Uh-oh, no one's scheduled for right now. Uh-oh. That's not good. Well, I guess we have no problem taking these then. Yeah. Okay. Let's take it, uh, and then if we get a call, we get a call, and we can go do it. Yeah. So here, you want to take rescue one? Sure. Here we go. Fire her up. We don't need lights. We'll just cruise down the road. Okay. After you. I love these new trucks. Well, boss man, I was looking on my phone. The weatherman said we got three and a half inches of rain in two hours. That's crazy. Yep, that explains all this mud, but okay, here we are. I think now we can turn on our lights. For sure, pulling in here. I got the winch. Boss man might I have to be- Don't get that stuck, man. Yeah, let me jump out. Yeah, there's a stick. Look at how sloppy that is. I made a pool in case you get thirsty. Come grab the winch and hook it up. I'm not getting dirty. Okay, okay, don't hit me. Chill. All right, boss man's got it attached. Good work, big guy. Uh, let's see. So. This is the situation. We're gonna winch it there. My truck, I don't know if my truck's stuck. I haven't even really tried to reverse out, but I just tried to push and we hit a brick wall pretty much. So boss man, you got the controller. Let's let's give her a tug. All right, hopefully this goes smoothly. Uh, We'll see. Oh, the truck's going. Okay, stop, stop, stop. Okay, are you sure you did the parking uh, brake I thing? forgot, I forgot. Okay, uh, lower it, lower, um, relax the winch. All right, parking brake is on now. Here we go. Okay, let's start tightening. Come on. Oh, that, I mean, we are, oh no, it's still moving. Oh no. It should, it should lock up here soon. These trucks have a feature. It, it should do it. <laughs> All right, boss man, that didn't work. What about just throwing it in reverse as hard as you can and see what happens? Okay, here we go. I'm going to yeah. go as close as I can. Get the longest runway you can, dude. Just send it. Three, two, one, go, 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 go. Floor it, floor it, close your eyes. Okay, here we go. Um, oh, you're spitted. Uh, man. Okay, stop, stop, stop before you get stuck. Go, wait, wait, wait. here, here. Grab my truck yep. and start pushing me with my truck. Yeah. I mean, like my fire truck. Uh, maybe, no, 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 maybe no, no, no. That, I don't want to damage them. Dude, power? we can't, we can't. These aren't even our trucks. Oh, okay, These okay. are our trucks that we can damage. Okay, let me fire up your truck. I'm going to see if we can get don't going. Don't damage my truck. Here, uh, yeah, okay, here. You go forward and I'll just pull I alongside mean, you. You move me a little bit. There we go. Pull, pull, pull. Here we pull. go, here we go, here we go. Oh, go, 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 don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. I'm it's okay. It. I'm, okay, I'm on pretty okay, good ground. Okay, detach, okay, stop, detach. Stop, stop. There, no, I can't stop. De detach. I, man, I need to go. Okay, chill. Okay, see if you're good now. Go. Oh, no. Oh, oh that's a pull. That's a pull, man. <laughs> okay, Watch we can't get stuck. Pull. Okay, I don't want to put the truck too far into the mud, boss, man. There we go, there we go. Okay, okay just keep going. Keep going. Screw it. Uh, pull it. Yeah, okay. Okay. Oh. send it. Come I don't on. like that, Come man. On. It's, Come it's, on. It's sideways. It is sideways. And it's back down. No worries. Well, I have good news, man. We have a whole nother one we have to do. Well, I have good news. We have a better truck to use. Better, uh, yeah, the ground's been drying. Let's be honest. The ground is drying better. a little bit, but three and a half, man, it's, it's not much of a difference. It's still muddy as heck. I'd say my truck, your truck did totally fine getting to the trailer too, but I'm kind of scooting around like no big deal. 
Well, let's let's see if you can pull it. Does your truck lower at all, or is that the best we got? Uh, let me. I think I'm all the way lowered. I'll hit all my buttons. Yep, that's oh, all the way yeah. high. Okay, that's all okay. the way down. Don't don't go any higher. That's pretty well, sweet. It actually raised the trailer you too. You have two sets of tires on the ground in the back. So yeah, just get some speed. You got this, man. You just gotta send it. We'll send, man. Here you go. Here you go. I'm going. Go, go, I'm go, going. Go, go. Oh, I'm slowing don't down. Stop. Don't stop. No, no. Don't stop. Don't stop. I'm I don't slowing. Want to I'm slowing. It. Keep I'm, going. Keep going. I still got the momentum. You got decent this. Decent ground. This. I made go, it to go, decent go. ground, dude. Wide load coming through. We're taking up the whole road. This is pretty awesome, though. Not too much traffic. I'm glad there's not much traffic. If there's traffic, we'd be having some major issues. Don't tip it, oh, man. Oh, jeez. They are tippy. Yeah, of course they are. Look at the size of these. Spencer, where are we going to put these? Yeah, I forgot to tell you. I was, I'm thinking over here. We have plenty of room to add more in the future, too. Okay, because, yeah, it's getting kind of crowded in that other spot. There you go. Back it up. All right, dropping it down. Well, just drop them now. We don't we don't have time today, and it's kind of wet ground, so we'll get them all situated, get them for sale in the next couple days. Uh, Spencer, those are not forks. I know. We can muscle off one of those, slide it onto the... You got to do what you got to do uh, sometimes. Okay. There, there we go. go. Exactly. Call this expert laziness, but there we are. So, okay, we're building a fence around this whole thing or just three sides? Whole thing, man. We got to fence it oh, all okay. off for intruders, keep the animal, you know, deer out, of course. And the main thing deer? is security. We got to keep security, man. Okay, but deer, there's water here. What, they're going to run through the water? What do you mean water? There's water behind here. Yeah, How are deers going to come around back? Well, they could guess, come from the side yeah. and then around. It, okay, just fence okay. it all off. You know what? Wasn't the best question. Fair enough. Let's get this stuff unloaded and get this thing built. And while we're building today, it sounds like we're going to have some people starting to rent out more units. So just don't, like, look around every once in a while in case somebody's behind us trying to talk to us. Yeah, I know. The phones have been off the hook ringing. Like, it's been crazy. Hopefully we can start making profit. All right. Got a little section done. That's about two hours of work. Helps having the skids here to move all the heavy stuff. Oh, somebody's here. Oh, I was just going to go grab a couple more tools. Uh... Sorry, man. Yep. Sorry to wait. Here's the papers to sign. Okay. Yep. You're just renting one unit. Perfect. Sign right there. Thank you very much for the payment. All right. Cool beans. He's all taken care of. He's going to get unloaded there. I'm going to keep working. And I think boss man, he went to grab us some food because I was starving, but I got all that done with his help all the way to that side. Looking good. This is the type of fence we're doing. So it's mostly wood, but the poles growing into the ground are metal. So they don't you know, kind of break down over time and stuff. Should last a little longer. And a couple more hours of work. I'm I'm getting really fast with this. So this was a little tight squeeze. This dumpster here, we're probably going to have to move. And then it goes all the way to the fence here. Oh, somebody's pulling in. And it goes all the way to the road there. So I, I think it looks good. Maybe it kind of blocks, but super private. Oh, howdy, sir. You're on the other side. This is a pretty cool car. Okay, you're just storing this. Perfect. Here's a piece of paper to sign. And I just need the payment. Thank you. First month is paid for. Just pay every month. That's a pretty cool looking car. I walked around on the left side thinking he would be there. And he wasn't. Yep. Go ahead and take that stall, man. I'll make sure you fit. Our measurements, I think we're, we're 12 and a half feet, 13 feet head of height. Yeah, you're all good, man. So now I'm going to work on the front. And I think the goal with this, I got some extra wood here, is we're going to make it see-through fence. A bit lower. So we'll keep the animals out and make it hard to just jump the fence but you can see through it obviously we want to show off our storage unit so that's the goal let's get her done well good work boss man we aren't all the way done we still got to finish what would that be the east side and connect it yep but it's looking pretty good you know the majority it looks like there's a full fence around i like this really good idea this was boss man's idea we were looking at a couple different designs but i like the wire it's sleek it's simple and the wood posts still match our other fence so good work yeah, Sh should we make this thing electric? Uh, no, no, because somebody's no? I'm gonna accidentally lean up against it and forget. Yeah, fair point, fair point. Yeah, it, it should be more than capable of doing what it needs to with the way it is. But man, we need to head to the RV park because we've had some complaints about our mudding equipment, like all those vehicles that we ran out. They're yep. just filthy. Okay. Well, that'll give us a good chance to clean off our trucks, take a break from all this hard work, grab something to eat. So, good deal. Oh, uh, boss man, I can't even see out of my windshield. This isn't good. I know. Here, try making this turn. I know it's a one-way, but if we're just going to cut through here. 
Jeez, we, we need to wash these puppies off. And I ran out of window washer fluid, so I can't even use that. I don't know how helpful that would be with this much mud, man. It would just break off the windshield wa washer. It would probably just smur yeah, smudge it and cover the whole entire windshield. Hey, before we wash these off, this is the perfect opportunity. Let's hit the mud park. With our trucks? Yeah, you. Well, we already uh, got a muddy. And I want to see what truck beats what truck so comment below guys who's gonna win this race let's put some money on this man i need to make some okay how much are you thinking i'm thinking 10 grand 10 grand Yo, what yep hey we're big money grand. rollers now if i win you pay me 10 grand you and i pay you 10 grand let's see who wins this I, i'm good at 10 grand uh you know what actually how about 15 make it 20 are you confident 20 mm, okay Shake on it. let's do 20 <laughs> Now, what are the rules on hitting each other? Is this bumper cars or? All rules go. Try do your best to stay in the course. Head back to the course. You know, if you get off it as soon as possible, and just send it. Okay. Well, let's do this thing. Three, two, one, go. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, he's a little quicker, but I got him. I got him. There we go. Don't hit me. These are big uh, trucks. Yes, can. Uh oh, I forgot about the ramp. Yep. Okay. See ya. Holy. Coming over. Go. Oh, jeez. Don't flip. Oh, oh look come at on. You. Flip over. Flip over. Dang it. My truck's a little slower. I got more weight. All right. Boss Boom's got the lead for now, but not for long. Come on. Yes, sir. We hit that jump good. Got the inside corner there. Get some speed. How many laps are we doing? Just one? Uh, Yes, just one. My truck okay. likes to flip. Oh, I'm a little top turn. heavy. Okay. Okay. See oh, ya. you're catching up. Come Here on. Go. Take Here him out. Go. Overpower him. Oh, no. Push him. Ah. Push him. Go, okay, go. Okay. Oh, don't fish tail me. There you go. There you go. No, there no, he's go. getting underneath. If anything goes. Go, 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 go. Come on. I want to win so bad. There we go. Here's the finish. You got to take the right turn here and finish through. Oh. Winner, winner, chicken it, dinner. Well, fair is fair. Oh, you there just you got go. that in your pocket? Oh, it was in my truck. All right. 15 grand. Richer. Uh, 20. Oh, count yeah, that yeah. again. Sorry. 20 grand. Yeah, there you go. Okay, okay. Well, are we now able to wash these things off? Yes, we are. Let's head over there and wash them off. Ah, oh, this is nice. Maybe you should, I should start professional racing. Uh, yeah, I don't know how you do against someone who actually has experience. Here, actually, you wash off your truck. I'm going to be back with your money. Because I got to, as you said, I got to pay you for a bunch of stuff. Yes, yes. For all the work I've been doing and then all the money that our RV park has been making. There we go. It's cleaning up pretty good around the rims, tires, inside the wheel wells. There we go. Cab is clinging. A little more dirt on the service bed. All right, man. So, here, you know what? Let's do this. If you can guess this number correctly, I'll add another 50,000. I can guess the number correctly. How many days of work was this in, like, business days this of Dunkin' This is, like, Donuts? pretty much a month. This is a pretty month. much a month. Okay, Dunkin' Donuts made, like, 10,000 in a week last, like, last time I got paid. A hundred and twelve thousand dollars for everything a month of all the businesses added up. Okay, well I got good news and bad news. It's more than that, but that number's incorrect. So here's a hundred and fifty-two thousand. Jeez. I know, man. I know. Numbers are getting real big. You must be getting close to a million by now. I think we are. I gotta go back, double check, but yes, we are getting close. Well, there you go, man. I'm looking forward to the day you hit a million. If that day ever comes, you, you like to waste money on some pretty weird things like giant trucks that have next to no functionality. Uh, what do you mean? We're building a fence out of that truck. I have all my tools. It helps when we tow people out and it just I like, me 20 I, yeah, grand. Yeah, yeah. I, I like how much, how much thought you have to put into that. Like my truck, you can just look at it and see all the functionality. But anyways, start bringing some stuff over. Yep. Because we got to wash off everything. Yeah, everything's pretty dirty in here. We'll bring it over, get it washed. Oh, my phone's going off. Oh, it looks like our neighbor from the storage park is calling. Oh, okay. We'll be right there. Boss man, we got a fire at the storage. Oh, my goodness. Wait, we have what? a fire. At, like, our place? Yes, at our place. The okay, neighbor just okay. called down the street. Jump in your truck. Let's go. The things are made out of brick. How the heck did they light on fire? Man, it, fire can definitely spread through those roofs. Let's go, let's go, boss man. Turn and burn. Yes, sir. We gotta get down here quick. Okay, so worst comes to worst. Like, what should we prepare for? Hopefully, we didn't catch our fence on fire. Can All the neighbors thing? said was one of your one or two of your units is on fire. Get down there. One or two of the units. Okay. Uh, I really am not looking forward to this. All right, the neighbor caught it quick. This is actually containable. Oh, jeez. It's coming out of the room already. All right, pump's on. Pump is on. We got pressure. 
Get hoses. Get hoses. Okay, let's, let's pop these doors open, man. It's gonna. It might be too hot. Try it. Go, okay, go, I'm go. We don't even one. have our Watch fire out. outfits on, dude. Step back. Step back. Step back. In case it. Okay. Okay. Oh, it, it might be that car. What the heck's in there? Okay. Wait. I'm gonna open this other one. Yep. Do it. I'll spray it. I'll cool it off. Go, go, go. All right, oh, okay. No, it definitely started in here. Yep. Start here. Go, go, go. And it must have spread into the left side. Oh, jeez. Okay, get the roof, too. We don't want that to be where it spreads. Yep, I'm with you. I'll start cooling that off. You get the main source. Man, we're definitely going to have some damages. Do we even have insurance for this kind of yeah, stuff? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got insurance. Don't worry about it. Oh, come on. Fire, get out. This water. We, we need more. There we go. No, we're good. I'll check the gauges. Yeah, we're good, boss man. We got 75% left. Can you turn up the pressure a bit, or...? No, that's it, that man. Max? That's it. Oh, okay. No, I'm beating back this side. I'm starting to get this side pretty good. Okay, but yeah, definitely be careful because you're right. We don't have our gear on. There we go, boss man. Keep spraying. I think we're getting it under control. Yep. Just don't let this thing reignite. Come on. Okay, how, how bad's the damage? Uh, so the oh, yeah, a bit the of the fence, fence is got pretty burned. good. Yep, we only got 25% left. Just use the rest of the water. Soak this thing down. There's a gas can right here. What? What? In tarnation? Okay, so we have this thing that literally has... Oh, dude. Okay, no. There's a little fire extinguisher in this truck. Like, they, they know it's going to catch fire. They put a gas canister beside it. Like, who? I have the guy's do, number. Do I'm going to give him a call. Man, we're, we need to kick this guy out. Oh, we need to call the cops. Well, it's the next day after the fire we had here, and Bossman and I are going to come get those burn-up vehicles out of here. Take them to the junkyard. Which one do you want? I'll do the Coca-Cola one. Okay, yeah, I think my truck would be better suited for that yellow. What do we even call that thing? I don't know what it is. I think it's like European or something. The guy was sitting on the right side of the, you know, the right seat, not the left one. Let's get this tilt pad down all the way up and slide her back. So I'm thinking I'll probably winch to the front, drag it up here. We'll see how this kind of works. All right, boss man's getting hooked up. You look good. Okay, I can't get any further back. I'm yeah. right at this wall. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're good. You're good. I think. There you go. Yep, just drag it. Oh, am I going to hit that side? Ah, uh, maybe. Just go. Okay, there we go. We're good. I might have you do that with my with the van. That way I can work it a little better. Okay, I can do that. All right, back her up. The old Peterbilt. This thing's a beast. Comes in handy owning half a towing business. Then I can just use this equipment when we need it. Seems like we need it a little too much, too. There you go. You're getting it up in the air. And you're go. good. Yeah, go. Okay. Slide this thing out of here. Sweet. And then you'll do the rest. And so our insurance guy came yesterday. We got a claim taken out. Sounds like everything is going to be paid for. We're going to finish up the fence. We're going to repair some of the fence that got burnt. And then these storage, these two units, we're going to get them redone. So we are going to be good to go. Nothing out of pocket besides, I think, a, a deductible. But in the end, it all offsets. And I think, I think we'll be even. Raise the bed back up. We'll drive forward just a bit here. Give us plenty of room and start winching. Perfect. This is awesome. I love it. Heck yeah. Here we go. I feel so bad for this person. Like it wasn't even their fault and they just happened to be in the unit beside. Ready to head out? Yes, sir. Right behind you. Okay. Watch the shed with the barn. What do we call this thing? Uh, I call it just like the welcoming shed or something. I don't know. All right. Nice wide turn. Watch that fence. Yep, there we go. We got to finish that fence today, boss man. Oh, I know, I know. Should have finished it yesterday, but, well, as, as you know, things uh, didn't go to plan. Boss man says he comes here all the time, takes scrap metal and, you know, other projects that he's, you know, just gets rid of. I've never been here. How do you open this gate? Oh, uh oh, maybe they're closed. Boss man, how do you get in here? Man, you got to go in the waste scale. What are you doing? That looks like a gate you'd go through. Yeah, they have gates, but you need to take the scale. All right, I got your swing lot here. That makes more sense. I was wondering what this was. All right, pull through. I think that's 6,500 kilograms. So you'd have to convert that to pounds is my understanding. What's your number? Uh, it's kind of hard to tell. Oh yeah, I do fit on here. Uh, um, uh, we're at, we're, this is embarrassing. Man, I'm overweight. 37,000. Jeez, that's heavy. Yeah. Boss man, you gotta lay off those Twinkies. I know, I know. So how does this work? You just drop it off here and they'll take care of it yep yeah just drop it off they'll do their stuff i don't know how to use this equipment there we go we got to detach just push it i think oh man i got my winch on i'll just drag it off from there there we go can't become any more of a scrap metal 
There we go, looks good. Put the bed back and let's get to work. We got a busy day ahead. We got the fence, a bunch of other projects. So stay tuned so you guys can see the complete thing and the place is coming together. Hurry up, boss man, you're late. We gotta get working on that fence. All right, give me the keys. I'll put it inside. The tow truck guys are starting the shift here soon. Uh, so how are we gonna get back? We're gonna walk. Okay. Spencer, Spencer, slow down, slow down, slow down. Just stop here. This guy has a lot of garbage outside. Yeah, didn't these guys just move in like two days ago? Yeah, they did. Like, what is this? This yeah. is not a good look for our parkman. No one else has their stuff outside. Like, They're is this an extension cord? Look, look where their extension cord is. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they blocked it up, but yeah, it, it smells terrible. Maybe we should write a note and just leave it on here. Let them know that they need to clean this up because this is unacceptable. What are these pieces of duct tape on the door? What the heck? I don't know. All right, here we go. And what's in this 55 gallon drum? Like all this stuff is weird in this camper. The windows are all blacked out. Yeah, leave a note on their door. Say you guys need to clean it up uh, or else you guys are gone. All right, I got all the tools in here. Lumber's on the back side. It'll be nice having your, your help. Yeah, yeah, we'll get this thing done nice and quick because you were taking forever yesterday to finish it. You didn't even get it done. You're true. I'll grab the skits here. All right, big cat, let's kick the tires like the fires. Uh, no, no more fires. We've been there, done that. That's true. That's true. Sorry, sorry. Uh, let's see. Let's work hard. I guess we could start right here. Yeah, start right here. Run this corner. So we're thinking what? Right here, yep. make a row. And keep it. I've been keeping it like six feet away from the buildings. That way you can walk in between them. All right, good work, boss man. That's one way to test the fence. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. I want, want to see what it was like standing up there. Yeah. These cables are pretty strong. I'm happy with it. Yes, sir. Well, let's head back to the place. Yep. The RV park. That's what I mean by place. To be specific, we have lots of places. And we can think and work on those two mobile homes. Yeah, that works. Let's get those freshened up, put for sale signs in them. Two days is the goal. And hopefully we get some buyers here soon. And we'll be really close to making a million bucks, that's for sure. Oh, yeah. You know what? I'm going to leave my truck here and take the... Take the nice car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take so this was in a one of the storage units that were left behind when we bought the place. And so boss man, that's his new daily. Spencer, are you unable to keep up? I'm flooring it. Feel like I got at a better top speed than you. And Jeez. acceleration. You're zooming, man. Let's see if I can hold this corner. I gotta slow down. Oh, oh I'm swerving. Squirrely. I'm getting squirrely. Oh jeez. Come on, okay. land it. There we go. Hey, pull by that RV, see if they cleaned up the junk. Oh yeah, we left that note. What in tarnation station? Even worse, they put out more junk. There's, there's no way. This must have been what? despite our note. Who who has this many? Okay, what? Yeah, I'm writing up another Just, note. T t no, man, we need to evict them. Put on that note yeah. that they got to get out of here within the next hour. I am. I'm saying one hour and you're out of here. Hey, if you're in there, this is Boss Man and Spencer. You got one hour to leave or else the popo is going to be called. So these are the four mobile homes we've sold so far and we got them we got them looking really nice and stuff so now we gotta get these looking nice we don't do too much of like crazy stuff gotta call in some rock and they'll rock the driveway and stuff like that but for the most part just kind of tidying things up uh spencer we left the skid steer dang it well uh, sometimes those truck drivers they're good at backing up they can well we need to rip out some of this grass either way like that's our job man the dump truck guy will come in and I'll say I'll need it spread. I'll give him a little $20 tip. Some of those guys, they're pretty good. Okay, well, get the mower. All right, I'll get this mowed, boss man. Grab the tools out of my truck. We'll get the AC hooked up to the unit and a few other things. Okay, are we going to work on one at a time? Yeah, well, I'll mow them both here. But yeah, just okay. one at a time. Sounds good. Well, that was hours worth of mowing. Boss man, what did you get done? I got the ACs fully working, or nice. at least I hope they're working. In that back window, connected. that cracked on our way, hauling it down. Yeah, you get that yeah, replaced? that's fixed. Okay. That's all good. Good, good, good. Now, man, I still see their junk over there. Let's let's check out what's going on. I think we're going to have to call the cops. We, we gave them their notice. I agree. I agree. Let's go check up on it. What in tarnation? Is that I, our golf cart? Yeah, it wasn't there an hour ago. Okay. Yep. We're calling cops. I'm, I'm calling them right now. All right. Go ahead. Hey, if you're in there, we're calling the cops. You better get out of here. 
Alright guys, we've had some bad luck. We had a fire started at our storage unit. Business isn't going as smooth as it has, but sometimes you have hiccups and we're taking care of them. Alright, they're on their way. Perfect. Let's get back to work and they'll, I guess, deal with this at some point. Alright boss man, I got my gardening gloves on. I'm gonna plant some flowers around here, make it look real pretty. What are you working on? I guess I'll do the same, but for the other ones. Oh no, I'll do the flowers. I love planting flowers. Okay, I'll work on getting a fence built. Well, we worked pretty hard getting this all set up. I think it looks good. Boss man just hammered in the for sale signs. Hey, Spencer. What? The cops are here. Oh, jeez. It's been a while. Yeah. They took a while like to get actually, here. Yeah, there's quite a few cars. All right, let's run down there, man. Hurry, hurry. All right, they said to stay back. Okay. The guy's not being confrontational, doing? it looks like. They have three cop cars here. Holy smokes. Hey, buddy, you got to get out of here. Spencer, they said stay back. No, it's fine. He's good. He's just sitting there eating, drinking a Coke. Officers, we got tow trucks, too. We can come get them out of here. We just wanted to do it the legal way. They said, all right, they'll keep that in mind. Maybe we go get the tow trucks once they get him out of here if he doesn't resist. And then we just drag this thing to the scrapyard. Yeah, I don't know if he wants to. Like, it's not our job to bring it to a scrapyard, man. Well, we just put it on the streets. Where else do we take it? I, I'm assuming the police would have it at their police lot. Okay. Like it would, that, I feel like that would make sense. All right, I'm heading to go get the tow truck. Hopefully that thing is cleaned up, or at least he's out of here. And then I think we're just going to tow it away to wherever they want it to go. Well, let's get her up and out of here. This is going to be probably the funnest things I've ever towed. And we got the big wrecker this time. So we're just going to hook up underneath the engine, get on the front axle, rip it out of here, take it to the police lot. Nice, the cops got him out of here, boss man. Yep, got him out of here. There's still one cop who's just lingering around, making sure we get this thing dealt with correctly. But yeah, pretty much wrapped up here. Perfect. Just move some of that junk out of the way. I'll drop down. We're going to get them towed out of here. Well, Jeremiah gave me a text. Said they needed more supplies, more ingredients at Dunkin' Donuts. So let's pull in here and not go into the ditch. All right, Jeremiah, there you go. Yeah, that should last you for a while. There's the strawberries. Here are the coffee beans coming through. All right, man, things are looking good back here. It's always nice, shiny, and clean, and they are doing a lot of business. Thanks for all the hard work, Jeremiah. And let me know if you ever need anything in the future. I'm going to go and do some work today. Well, since I got the trailer hooked up, let's knock out two birds with one stone and pick up the skid loader, bring it back to the RV park, because we had a couple of projects to do with it. And we don't really need it sitting around at our storage units. There's really no, no work for it to do. So let's pick her up. There we go, load it up. This is my first time loading it on this trailer. It's a little sketchier, but it's just, it's a lot easier to pull. Mm. Oh, I'm mm. getting a call. Mm. Hey, boss man, what's up? Hey, nothing much. Where are you? I am folding up ramps right now on the trailer. I'm I'm at the storage units. Bring back the skids there. Okay, once you're done that, I uh, may have spent some money today. That's and always that, I mean, good. Yeah, quite quite a bit of money, in fact. So, anyways... Got some abandoned property, like you know, my favorite thing to do. Yeah. And there are some vehicles here I feel like you might be interested in taking a look at. So do you want to come down once you drop that thing off? Yeah. Text me the address. I'll be there hopefully five, ten minutes. Okay. Sounds good. Let's get this unloaded. The trailer pulled pretty good. Not as nice as the gooseneck, obviously, but this thing's handy back and in the parking lot, stuff like that. That's kind of why we got it. Well, this is where the GPS has taken me. You know what? Now that I remember, that's where we went to pick up the mobile homes, and I always remember driving by this place. What the heck? There's a for sale sign I saw when I pulled in here. We'll just park right here. Don't want to get any flat tires or anything. Boss man, you around here? Yep, one sec, I'm coming. Hello. Jeez, you're covered in like all these seed things. Yeah, man, I, there's all sorts of things in there. I don't even want to try to figure out what is on me. But man, check this place out. Do you like it? Yeah, pretty crazy. What are all... Oh, there's another car in there. You. Yeah, so I thought you'd be interested in taking a look at some of these and at the very least helping me maybe start them up and figure out their values. Yeah, yeah, man, absolutely. So when you bought this, you got all the cars, right? Yep. Okay. Yeah, this has been abandoned for many, many years. So everything on the property belongs to me. Don't really know why this was all left here. I don't know the condition, just hoping for the best. Yeah, hopefully you got a good deal. How many acres? It is around 50 or so acres. Oh, so it goes out there. Wow, pretty oh, sweet. Yeah. Oh yeah, I own part of that forest. It's pretty nice. Nice. All right, well, there's no way the batteries has juice in it. So let me pull around my truck and I'll get the jumper cables. All right, tell me when you think I'm close enough. Uh, should be good there. All right, so f first off, uh, can we just mention the fact this is a tow truck and you have a towing business? I thought that was a 
pretty interesting thing. Yeah, no, I when I pulled in, I was like, dang, that would be great for my business, getting into tight, you know, parking spots, places we can't take the big old wreckers in. Yeah, like I know you have those really big trucks, but this thing definitely has its purpose. Yeah, small jobs, pulling people out of ditches, and you know, just little things during snowstorms, like you don't need something huge. Yep, well, okay, connect the yep. cables up. Let's get this thing up and running. Wait, uh, one's blue and one's red. I thought it used to be black. Blue? Okay, let's put Are red sure? on blue, blue, black on red, and then what ground it blue, with man? red. Oh, jeez, I okay. got stung. I got shocked. Man. Oh, my heart. What? You can't just connect this stuff. This is, this is electricity. Oh, jeez. Why, why didn't you, you tell me? Oh, no, I'm well, shaking. I was trying I'm, to I'm just... shaking all over. I was trying to figure out what you meant by blue. That's not really a usual color. Here, I'll, I'll let you do it. I'll let you connect them here. Okay. All right. So black goes to the ground. Okay. That red, makes. You're right. You're right. Red go. is positive. Okay. Yeah, man. You you need to just use I your brain next time. Well, okay? I won't forget next time. That's for sure. Yeah. Hopefully that shocked it into your memory. Come on. Crank it. It's got something. Keep holding it. Hold it. Hold it. There you go. <laughs> it started popping off there. Nice. Check this thing out. Yeah, I saw this when I was pulling around back. This is a Jag? A Jaguar? Yes, sir. I believe it's, uh, I, I want to say this would be like a 1990, if my Dang. memory serves correctly. Pretty but, sweet. Yeah, pretty good condition, all things considered. Absolutely. Now, obviously, it's, it's been sitting here a while but like under the hood at least is really clean yeah everything is caked with dust but i wonder how long this has been sitting maybe we should shut that tow truck off and not you know some, gas gets bad after a while especially with ethanol in it so that is true we, we uh, should be fine it's you know, uh, yeah it, we'll hope for the best it's not worth it all right well i guess we could try this one out yeah see if it's got some juice maybe there's some sort of battery shut off on these nice cars it's a v12 yep you got it all right Come on, come on. Try, yeah. There you go, nice. Wow, it's a little quieter than I thought. It still sounds oh, good. Oh, oh, I think it just. It just died? Dang it. Yeah, okay, wait, try it again. It, it, it was going for a sec there. Keep your foot on the gas pedal, maybe. Give you some gas. There we go. Nice. It's working, perfect. I guess we'll just let this thing run for a minute or two as well. Yes, sir. Here, help me push this out of here. What the heck? Yeah, Let I know. Jump exactly. in, you push me. Okay. Heck yeah. Here we go. It looks to be a pull start. Should we try this thing out? Yeah, heck yeah. It looks like a lawnmower engine on the back of there. All right, big cat. Let me get a couple poles in here. You put your foot on the throttle. Here we go. Yep. Oh. Yeah, that's what a good pole does. It's a shopping cart. Get it? It's a shopping cart, but it's a go cart. Shopping cart. It's a go shopping cart. Uh, close enough. All right. It's a shopping go-kart. Give the thing a spin. Here, drive around the property, man. All right. Let's, yeah, probably stay on the property just in case it's probably not legal. What's that on the side of this barn? It's... What do you mean? On the... It would be the west side, right here. Uh, you're gonna have to show me, man. I don't know what you're talking in about. In the bushes, dude. Oh, what the heck? Yeah, it was like camouflage. Wait, what does that this say? is a... Power wagon. Dodge it, power no wagon. Wait, Man, this thing, if this works, this is going to be pretty valuable. This is a W200, boss, man. These are rare. They were made in the 60s, I think. Okay, here, let me, let me, uh, Pop the okay, hood, actually, baby. here, let, let's push this out of here, because it, okay. it's just, I'm getting all caught up here. Go, 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 push. Come on. Keep pushing. I think we had a rock I'm up trying, there. I'm trying, man. All right, go, push. Come on. Come on. Go. Yeah, I think we're hitting this tree over here. We got to back it up and push it. Ah, uh, can never be easy, push, can Push, push, push. There we go. That's good enough. All right. Uh, okay. Let me see. Let's get this hood open. Pop it. Nice. Whoa. Wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Is Cold air light? intake. Boss, man, that is... It's a 24 valve. Cummins. In this? Wait, wh what? Yeah, a lot of sense. people. I mean, like, that takes... I mean, you can find a cheaper one, but that looks pretty nice. And originally, these had gas engines. Big block gas engines. I'm Did not sure. someone too... switched this out, or...? Yeah, looks like there's a lot of room to put it in. So, this thing's... I don't know why they left it, boss, man. This is... Unless the engine's blown, transmission, something. This is a nice truck. Yeah, and clearly it has some power because... Some, some battery left because it's two batteries and a light on. Yeah. Well, this is going to have a lot of torque and power with the 24 valve versus the gas that was in it. All right. Well, should we try starting it up? Yes, sir. Jump in. 
There you go. She's got something. Come on. You can hear the turbo whistling. All right, just hold up. I'll grab my truck. Let's get some cables on it. Do you know how to connect the cables yes, this time? Yes, I got them connected. Black on black, red on red. Black is negative, red is positive. All right, give it a couple of minutes. Let it charge up. Well, here, let's go take a look at this other side. Does anything interest you here? Yeah, I was... The Jaguar is awesome. The Jaguar? You you didn't mention... Well, who was it? Your dad or something had a Jaguar, right? Yep, that's right. Back, Back in, in the, the day. day? Yes, sir. Man, if you want to buy it off me, I, I'd be up to some offers. Same goes with that tow truck. Okay, fair. What about the power wagon? Mmm. Like, are you interested in the cars? Like, why do you buy this place? Just for the land value? Yeah, I just, I, I saw the land and it was kind of what I was hoping for. I like the location. Good deal. Not too far from our storage units, right? That's a few miles away. Yeah. So I, I just thought it would be perfect. And the cars interest me too. I, I knew there would be some value here. But you know, put, put your money in land and then hopefully it doesn't depreciate. Yeah, let's, uh, let's see. I'll package them all together for you. $50,000 for, for mm. the tow truck, for the Jaguar, for the... Cummins for the shopping no, cart? No, 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 no chance. The, the, Dude. I'm going to say that the truck is off the table. That that thing I want to keep. Truck doesn't even run. Need, well, it might. We haven't. We, we, we need to see. I know. I know. I'm just messing with you. Uh, yeah. 20 grand for tow truck, Jaguar, and shopping cart. Oh. Uh, how much? 15,000 for all of them. No, no, no. Man, look, look at this Jaguar. This thing has value. These things back in the 12, day. 12,000 for all of them. The longer you wait. More go nope. down. No, nope. all right, then you can't buy any off me. I'll give you this Jaguar for twenty thousand. No. That man, it's probably worth thirty, forty thousand. I gotta look the I I don't know. We gotta find a buyer. Shake on it right now, thirty five for everything. Not the pickup truck. And if the pickup truck runs, if it doesn't run The pickup truck's not yours. It's off okay, the table. What if it that runs? Thing's mine. Are no, you sure? It's mine. Yes, that's mine. I'm a hundred thousand percent sure. Should I go disconnect you, those cables over there hooked up to my I truck? Can, I can let you drive it and stuff, but man, I'm giving you a good deal okay, here. Okay, 30000 for everything but the pickup truck. All right, you have a deal. Shake on Shake it. on it. All right, I cracked an injector, so just crank on it. Hopefully it starts and it should bleed out the air. We're going to have to tow this sucker out, bring it down to Steve's shop. Yeah, I think I think it needs something more than just a few valves adjusted or whatever you were doing in here. Maybe all this mud too is causing some troubles. Maybe there's some mud in some spots there shouldn't be. There we go, boss man's coming in. Perfect. He brought the flatbed. That'll work great. Let's see. Let's go ahead and shut the hood here. Perfect. And the only part is we do have a pretty steep drop in here. I don't know how boss man wants to do it. I'll let him decide, but just rock, watch out for these rocks, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, geez. This ground is not the best. I'm thinking just to use the back bar. Okay. Fair enough. Should yeah. be able to reach and get the right angle. All right. Back up, boss man. There All you right. go. Keep coming. Yeah, you can keep backing up. You got room to back up a couple feet here. Okay. All right. That's perfect. Okay. You're on the front axle. All right. Maybe you drive forward just an inch. Yep. All right. Now go ahead. Lock her down. Raise up. Take some weight off. There we go. We just need to get this out of here. I can position better on the road. Yeah, true. Exactly. All right. Let's try getting this thing pulled out. Oh, this thing's a little heavy. Just keep driving. Just keep moving. Don't stop. Are the wheels spinning? Yes, yes. Yeah, it's in neutral. That's for sure. Okay, perfect. There. Yeah, you got the front end up and over now. Look at that. A little bit high. Well, that just shows how steep we're working with. There we go. All right. Hopefully we can make this turn. This is pretty Come sweet, on. boss man. You're a good driver. Thank you, thank you. Don't have much experience, but done this a few times. Yeah, I'd say you are good to go. I would say you don't need to reposition. Just go nice and slow. That is quite the angle. Okay. Let's turn and burn. As long as sparks aren't flying, I think we're good. Yeah, you got one set of tires on the ground. Should do the job. Move it or lose it, big cat. I told you to drive slow. All right, let's back this baby off. And there we go. With the V12, I guess these are pretty rare. And I looked it up on my way down on some recent sales they've done, like at, you know, classic car auctions and stuff. A couple of them I've seen sold, you know, 50, 60,000. Some sold 40. And the really rare one, I guess it sold for like 80. So we'll have to figure out how much this is going to sell for. You know, I was kind of thinking too on my way down, maybe I could keep that Jaguar. It's pretty awesome. It's got a ton of power. It's a V12. That's pretty crazy. Let me know. Should I sell it? Should I keep it? What should I do? And I'm thinking 
boss man shows up, he can drive the tow truck, and I'll put this on the trailer just because if the cops see me. I don't know if this is legal. It does have, like, a license plate on there, though, which is pretty crazy. Oh, boss man's here, that's for sure. Want me taking the tow truck? Yeah, go ahead, jump in. Just drop the flatbed. I'll just drive it right on. Okay, back it up. There we go. Looks good. All right, I'll throw some strap. You know what? Just fold it back. Well, this will be fun. Start folding it back. There we go. Fold it back. Keep going. You can go faster than that. And I just go. gotta keep driving. It's a, like a roller coaster. Exactly. Throw a couple straps down. Put that thing a little bit more center, man. Oh, that's perfect. All the weights in the back. It's a heavy body. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do with the property, so we'll probably be involved with that in some way in the future. We'll, we'll have to see. Yes, sir. Maybe you could make a roller coaster ride or something. I don't know. Make a roller coaster? Do you think this town needs a roller coaster? Yeah, kinda. Seems kind of boring. Actually, it would be kind of cool. In the past eight years, I went from a worn-out limo and zero dollars in the bank to owning many businesses worth hundreds of thousands of dollars. This is just the start of my challenge to become a millionaire.